pew 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 the uh, like they play it in Boston all the time. Uh, yeah, well, fuck them. <laughs> I don't remember the name N- of the band. That's what I have to say about that. It's a song that. from like the fucking sixties. Well, there's no Daft Punk is playing at my house. I'll tell you that much. That's the song we just came into. But what's going on, guys? Happy past the gravy day. I guess not. It's not like every day should be past the gravy day, but yeah. like. Today's like when you're when, whatever day it is that you choose to listen. It's past the gravy day for you, right? Happy day when Pat gets to crush beers with Alex. Let's get into let's get into where you've been. Why don't we do that, huh? Yeah. The so, the Lady Let's. You guys ready? You guys good? All right, the in-house band, the Lady Let's, ready to go. Where you been? 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 Where you gone? Where you gone? Since you've been gone, where you been? Where you been? Ah, uh, who wants to start? I'll go first. Uh, I uh. Not a lot. I just uh, took it easy this weekend. I um, My not cool will let you know why I didn't do a little bit more. We'll get into that later, though. But, uh, you know, like I said, I had some beers with my buddy on Friday. I got uh, changed a tire. I had to go get a new tire. Uh, returned my brother's suit. But other than that, you know, I just pretty, hung out at the He's house. running errands, it seems like. Yeah, I ran some errands. Played some video games this weekend. Not that much, though. But, uh, you know, watched, uh, watched some hockey, watched some baseball. Pretty just nice, relaxing little weekend. You didn't watch any soccer, dude? It was like playoffs no, championship I weekend, bro. I, I did not watch any soccer. Well, you missed out. I thought about going to see the new John Wick, but I still didn't do that. So I'm thinking maybe this weekend on that. Just read the book, dude. No. Well, no. See, the, that doesn't work with John Wick because you have to see the action sequences. That's what makes the movie good. Or you can just read the plot synopsis on Wikipedia. Yeah, thing. but yeah, but it like tells you what happens. Though. though you can still sum it up. No, like I'll know what happens. Like, oh, these guys were killed, but it's the way in which they were killed that makes John mm. Wick great. Okay, okay. Which, by the way, on Fortnite they had uh, released a uh, a skin where you look like John Wick a while back. Yeah, I totally bought that. Why don't you just be comfortable in your own skin, man? Well, it's like that's what they call them skins, but it's like you, just different characters you can play as. Yeah. So, like, I like to play as John Wick. <laughs> and there's two versions like him just in all clean in his suit and then the second version is after he gets the living shit kicked out of him and there's like holes in his suit and his hair is all fucked up yeah that's the one I play so you still play with NFL people uh, if you had bought them back then oh they don't like they don't keep the, I'm sure once football season rolls around again they'll do it again see I would have just played with like I would have just been the Giants guy so like, you could just, just dress like the Giants so, I mean that would make sense because you know you'd probably die a lot and get the shit kicked out of you so you would want to be dressed as the Giants well, just like I, I, I don't know. I would just like I wouldn't have changed it after a while. I would yeah. Have to, or I would have just been a, OJ. <laughs> I no, saw people. A, I saw people dude, had in, done in that. a game where you have to kill people. They could be perfect. As OJ would be perfect. Can you kill people with via knife? Uh, no. There's damn no it, knives. God damn it. Well, still, it's like there, half, I mean, it's like half there. You, you have an axe. Hmm? It's close enough. Yeah, that works. So uh, you've been running some errands, basically. Yeah, just, you know, some errands, doing a little drinking at home, uh, and uh, watching some sports. That's about it. I didn't, I didn't actually do any Memorial Day weekend activities. Just kind of took it easy. Because you were honoring the fallen, like you should do. I think most of it was because I was just tired because well, my sleep schedule was fucked up. Well, still also but, I mean, I always honoring do. the fallen. Yeah. Yeah. We poured a little bit of beer out. Before the podcast for it too, like I mean, I poured it out into my. Mouth. Well, yeah, I mean, it still counts as pouring. I, out. I don't waste. So uh, that's where Pat's been. Yeah, um, I got a gun. Did you know? I'm a gun owner now. Are you? It's, I mean, it's a massage gun. It's yeah. a Theragun, yeah, yeah, but not, like it's still. Nah, it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty tight. It's pretty tight. You bought a turbo powered dildo. It's not a bought. dildo. It didn't come with a dick on it. It's like uh like instead of foam rollers, it's just like a gun that just like shoots the fuck out of your like leg or it's wherever got a ball you put it on, on the end of it. So he literally could just put it next to his butthole and have this thing. Just I don't think penetrate it, the shit I don't out think of the it first would penetrate your ass. It's not really like. I mean, that thing's going fast as shit. But it's not like a. Speed. It's not got the length. If you put that next to your butt, it's going in there. Yeah, but I'm not doing that. I'm using it on I'm my just legs. Saying, it could. And then apparently it's got a, a cone attachment too. He said, "Tell me that's not made it's to go like in and it, out of your butt." It's like it's to get like the the hip triggers and everything like that. Mm-hmm. All those little hard to get areas. I think it's for the prostate. That's, what that's for. It's that's got one that's for. like the size of a tennis ball. It's got one that's just like 
besides like that little like Walmart ball people used to put up on their antenna on their car. Yep. And then it's got the little like cone thing on it. And uh, it's pretty tight. It's not a lot of fun initially, but you kind of get used to it. And uh, I like it a lot better than my foam roller. So it's a solid investment. I've definitely got my money's worth out of it probably already. But go check out the Theragun on Amazon. And that's a nice little treat if you want to get that. If you're, uh, if you're a runner or you do any sort of exercising and you use a foam roller, a little bit better than a foam roller, I think. And it's more fun because it's like it's a gun the whole time. So you're like, nah, 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 nah. it's pretty tight. That's exactly what it says. Nah, 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 nah. One more time. Nope. No, that wasn't it. So I'm a gun over, owner now, not to brag or anything, but that was pretty cool. Um, Saturday, I went to a town hall, is what they called it. It was with Disturbed, and Robert was there. Bobby Jokes was with us. He got to video the whole thing. You can go check out he his. He got to video the whole thing. He didn't have to. Well, he did. He did video it. So he. Uh, so you have to. You made it sound good. like a chore. Well, I didn't mean. I didn't honor. mean that it was. Yeah, it was an honor. And. Bobby Jokes did a very good I was job. Say, might I say he did a great job? You got you go check out on his on his YouTube video, Robert Barbosa, right? Is that what it is on? Yeah. There's Robert Barbo- Robert Barbosa on YouTube. Go look at it, and you can watch the whole interview. It was like 15 minutes, and uh, wasn't it was about a 15 minute interview, right? And then two songs. They were about yeah. 10 minutes total, mm-hmm. and you can see the two songs and everything like that. And it was Disturbed had like written so- a song about kind of like. The, the the ending the stigma of like mental health and depression and PTSD and stuff like that. And so it was, uh, it was, I thought it was going to be more somber than it ended up being. And it was more just like, Hey, this, this is kind of what's going on. And these are ways I mean, it that was you kind guys, of somber. I mean, it was somber, but like, it I heard you guys played on the radio. I was listening. Oh yeah. Yeah. Then we, we re-aired it on Monday, like nationally, but it was, it was an interesting conversation and it was like, Hey guys, you know, if you're, if you're struggling, you're not alone there. And now like, you don't have to be like, you're not a bitch if you have to go talk to somebody. That was basically kind of what it was trying to say. And like, this is, this is a thing that happens to a lot of people. It's not just you. And, you know, don't be afraid to, to reach out. And it was a good message. And I'm glad I got to be a part of it. And Robert did a kick-ass job on the video like he does every week with the Past the Gravy videos that you can watch also on, uh, on Past the Gravy podcast if you go on YouTube or just pastthegravypod.com under the video podcast section of the website. So uh, that was a pretty cool little start to my Saturday. Uh, then... Sunday or Saturday night. I mean, I got to go to, I went to my buddy Darren's house and he had a barbecue and we got, I got pretty drunk out there. That was a lot of fun. And yeah. he, he made some pretty dope ribs. That was, it was, uh, it was pretty awesome. I'm a big fan of the ribs that Dan rib was making out there and we had a good time. So, uh, let's talk about little M air fresheners, the best air fresheners in the whole world. You guys, we want to hashtag save the trees because a lot of people don't know that those, uh, those little dumb, stupid trees that people get at like that maybe you get it at the gas station. That's just, uh, it's like a little tree and I don't know what even the real name of it is, but they, uh, that's like the most common air freshener I see ha- people having right there. We're trying to change that and make little M air fresheners, the most common air fresheners you're going to see in people's rear view mirrors because every tree that those people have in their rear view mirror, it actually costs 17 trees to be chopped down and, uh, it's, it's really fact. not efficient. Don't fact. Yeah. Don't, it's not, it, it is a fact. It is a fact. Just don't look it up it's but justice. uh yeah we're very trustworthy but all of those little trees it costs 17 trees each to make just one of those and little air fresheners fact take zero trees to make one of those they actually plant a tree for every one you order also don't fact check that but yeah don't lie <laughs> but it's yeah they, they might they might you know what? It, like we're gonna pitch it to them we're gonna pitch it to little m we're gonna pitch it to the higher ups there i'm like hey why don't we plant a tree and like we'll be like yeah we're gonna plant these trees but like really we're just gonna give birds seeds they'll throw them and then, like, that's sort of a tree, right? It might be a weed, but it's a tree. Could Everything be. that has life is a tree, sort of. No, that's not true. Mm. Everything that has life is a tree. It's a fact. I don't think... That's a fact. I don't think fish are trees. Mm, they could be. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is another ladle type thing, is it? <laughs> no, no, that's not no? even close. Anything that has life, is it a tree? <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. So Little M Shop, they have the best air freshers in the whole wide world. They got the uh, all cool kinds of cool designs. They have Be Cool, Smell You Later, Party On, which looks like you're at like a tropical beach. Rad mm. looks very saved by the Bell S. We got that hanging right behind me in the studio. The Out of This World one is another one of my favorites. I've got that in my car that's, right now. Looks like you're in space, which yep. is pretty dope. Uh, for all the fellas, if you're like, oh, I want one that's like a dude looking one, like get the Out of This World or the Rad one. Those are all pretty cool. Even though like all of them, like the Be Cool, Party On, all of them are pretty dude like. Yeah. A dude could rock those. And I 
I rocked all of them at certain points. Uh, if you want to be Zach Morris, get rad. Yeah, get rad. Uh, Citrus Klein, Fresh to Death, Little Ice, Pina Colada, Miami Beach, Spring Fling, and Sweet Cream, ladies. Those are all of the scents you can order. <laughs> that was creepy. <laughs> I know. I know. It's funny, though. Uh, I think I, I took that from my boys at the Weekly D. But uh, Little Ice... Fresh to Death and Miami Beach are my favorite scents that you can order. So we're in those. Oh, I mean, you can order in all the other ones, but those are my three favorites. And uh, and uh, you go check it out. LittleMShop.com. Save the trees. We don't want you to be one of those baby back bitches driving around with a little bitches. tiny tree in your rearview mirror. Get you a little M air freshener in your rearview mirror today. LittleMShop.com. LittleEMShop.com for the best air fresheners in the whole world. All whole right. Whole damn world. Whole goddamn world. Goddamn. Goddamn. Damn it, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what we got? Comeback Kid is what's coming up now. So uh, this is how we just shoehorn the uh, stuff that has happened recently in the news in this last week that we wanted to talk about, and this gives us a reason to talk about it. So here we go. It's the Comeback Kid. The Comeback Kid of the week. The Comeback Kid of the week. Bitch. <laughs> Da, 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 um, bum, Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't know why that was funny. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. I don't know either. It's Aladdin. And I guess with that, I, all of the songs from Aladdin. I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Don't keep going because I don't remember all the rest of them. I knew like one more Tell line. Tell me, princess, I'm Was with you. the last you Blah, 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 blah. Right. A whole new world. Oh, oh. He didn't sing that. He didn't nope. sing that. Sorry, so, I So uh, the new Aladdin is like, is it live action? Is that yeah. what it's called? Okay. It's the live, which is just like real people, right? Yeah. I don't understand that. Like, why don't they just say it's like the movie Aladdin, not cartooned? <laughs> well, usually the, the live action was for like, you know, when they did Lion King and everything and it's CGI. It's, I, actually, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't fucking know. Forget everything I was saying. Well, I, I assumed about. you were the expert on this, but if what I'm saying is true and live action is just like real people acting yeah. at a cartoon movie, then like. Just call it. Uh, just yeah. call. You don't have to tell me that. Actually, I kind of really want to see it now because my biggest thing was just like, dude, how do you follow Robin Williams? And apparently, everybody's saying Will Smith is he crushing it as the job. genie. Everybody's saying. I that. mean, he's got a big enough personality to at least go for it. I just wonder, like, is it the same Robin Williams type genie, or like, did he put a whole different spin on it? Because he's I, had to have put a different I spin say on it. It's similar, but like, you can't be. As the same when like well I, I mean he's got to be Willinium Will Smith right yeah. like getting jiggy with it Will Smith like I guarantee you at least once we're gonna hear ha ha oh I hope so yeah you know you're getting I that hope Will. so okay I hope damn it I hope at some point G- DJ Jazzy Jeff is in this <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny so if you've seen it I guess let us know how many ladles of gravy you give it I'm got like I kind of really do want to see it now though I'm probably still gonna go to the theater to no, see it no God no I'm not if I get a bootleg copy maybe I'll see it. I don't know. Yeah. But I don't get bootleg. Oh, no. I need to go to a farmer's market Because I somewhere. follow the laws. Because I know they sell these at farmer's markets and shit all the time. I want to get a lamp with a genie in it is really what I want to find. Because, right? like, that, like, and obviously you just ask for more wishes. Everybody yeah. knows that. The dumbest people in the world don't ask for more wishes. Like, I, I would immediately ask for a thousand more wishes. My second one would be like, but, like, dude, you're free. But, like, I just need the ability to, like, snap my fingers in your back here to give me another what wish. What was and it? you can go back but, and do your own shit. Because Robin Williams didn't even say you couldn't ask for more wishes. The three things were you can't make somebody fall in love with you. Yeah. Because that was the whole Jasmine thing. Yeah. And then you can't you can't bring people back from the dead. Oh, yeah. Right? Didn't he do that? And then he acted like he was a zombie. And then you can't. What was the other one? Love. Rape. You can't kill people, maybe. Maybe you couldn't kill people? I don't know. Definitely not rape. I would assume he's a very I anti-rape think that just goes genie. Saying. Yeah, that's like, yeah, dude, we we knew that one was one that you couldn't use. So no, we're not gonna do that. Oh, like I don't think you would wish upon a genie that you would rape somebody. I think you would just wish that like you could have sex with that person. Like that that person would want to have sex with you. you yeah. Know? You can't make them love you, but can you make them? I mean, lo- that's oh, like wait, wait, wait. a whole new level. Can of Can you make them if, like, lust after you? Ooh. Probably not, because it's kind of under the same category, I guess. No, but still, cause, no, because lust and love are two very. But you start with lust, then you fall in love. I don't need you to fall in love with me. I just, I just need you to want my genitals. But if it's a side effect that you fall in love, I'm cool with that too. 
Yeah. You know? Okay. So uh, if you find that, what else? Let us know. But Aladdin's back. If you guys saw it, let us know. Um, also, this is my favorite comeback kid because he's the uh, he's my new Fetty Wap. I'm, I'm just I'm straight up saying it. Lil Nas X is the new Fetty Wap to me. I was obsessed with Trap Queen like three months after Trap Queen came out, and I found out about it. But like, I'm all in on Lil Nas X. I was there like. I feel like we played Lil Nas X like right like the week he got big. I'm not saying we made him big because obviously we didn't. TikTok made him big, and him being like just putting out a fucking banger yeah. in Old Town Road made him big. But Lil Nas X is back. He played at the Bruins game, and that was pretty awesome. Um, hold on, I'm trying to find my shit that I. Uh, he he played before the Bruins. And uh, Blues game yeah, one it, yeah, of the Stanley Cup The third final. one was can't kill anyone. You can't kill anyone. I, that's what I kind of yeah. thought it was. Okay, so I'm glad I wasn't like way off on that. Uh, Sorry, I know we'd already moved past it, but it was one of those ones. No, that no, 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 I feel you. Me. But anyways, moving on. <laughs> we're just we're for, it was like Robert Downey Jr. even had a video of himself dancing to Lil Nas X's new song. Now it's not like an official release, but it's just kind of like a like a. Unreal, unlike full release track. It's not the the right edit, I yeah. guess. But like he's put it out. It's called Panini. And what I I'm gonna get ahead of this because like we're gonna be the woke podcast that tells you guys what's happening before it happens. This is a new thing. Is start just calling people Panini. Like you call people that like you, like instead of saying bitch, like hey bitch, just be like hey Panini. Dude, you're such a Panini. Okay, so um, <laughs> where, where we got? All right, that's it. So JJ next, next. Oh JJ Watt, you're right. You're right. I was I got lost. Looking at Lil Nas X things. Congrats, JJ. JJ Watt, opposite of a Panini. Very great guy. Uh, JJ Watt. The and, best guy. All right, your turn. Who's he engaged to? Uh, now, don't get me wrong if I fuck nope, this yeah, up. That's why too. I threw it to you. Uh, it's like, K- K- no, it's not Kaylee, but it's like Kalia Ohai. Kaylee Ohai? It's, I believe it's Ohai. Kaylee Ohai? I think it's Ohai. Uh, he's, he's engaged to the captain of the Houston Dash. I didn't realize she was the captain. Yeah, because Carly Lloyd moved on. Oh. Like, she's not on the team. She anymore. died. No, she didn't die. Oh, you she said didn't she passed. She didn't pass. Oh, oh, moved on, not passed. She plays okay. for a different team. Uh, I think it's like Kalia Ohai. Something like that. It's Something close. Like that. It's close it's, to what we've, we've both been Hawaiian, saying. It's very Hawaiian, which is very hard to say in everyone's defense. So, yeah, J.J. Watt is... Um, she's awesome, He's engaged though. to her, she's, and she's super hot, too. Yeah. But then she like, had a whole press conference yesterday, and it was just like, oh... How's your engagement? And it was like, and other things about the dash. And it's like they didn't ask you anything about the dash. They're like, so you got engaged, huh? What's huh? it feel like? <laughs> what if that was like the first question? <laughs> How big is he? Is he packing? <laughs> is he big or is it just a lot of force behind it? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, whatever, it works. And I got. Does over he put as in much in work into the bedroom as he does onto the field? Do you ever get to be on bottom, or does he squish you? That's a good question, though. Yeah. That's a good question. See, I think, no, she definitely can be, though, because he's strong enough to where he can, he can hold, like, hold himself like, up. He's, he's yeah. Two, yeah, he's 290 plus, but he can hold himself up. So I think they're okay. Because, like, was it uh, the dude from Game of Thrones? I think it was Mountain. And yeah. he's dating, like, a really short chick. And it was, well, like, he's, dude, I mean, he's, he's going to, like, like, kill six, her. He's, like, 6'9", 350. But he's going to kill her if he fucks her. He's like, well, I bet you that guy is, like, pretty strong. He can, like, hold himself up. That's true. That's true. No, I would hate if a sex tape ever got released of JJ and her, but, like, Come on, they're beautiful people. At that point, it's just art. Right, it is. Like it is. It's just it's beautiful art. I would like to say, out of respect, I wouldn't search it out, but like, I'm a connoisseur of the arts. I enjoy museums. You're right. I'm. A, I haven't been to a museum in probably 18 years. But if I was there, I, I would enjoy, enjoy it. Museums. Yeah. Yeah. I think. I think. Yeah, that's a good point, dude. Uh, speaking of nudes <laughs> and like sex tapes, nudes is back. That's a that's a comeback kid. Yeah. As well as Iggy Azalea, 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 Iggy Azalea. Yeah, Azalea. I'm so fancy. And then I disappeared. Something like that. <laughs> uh, but Iggy Azalea is a comeback kid because somebody leaked nude photos of her online, and she is really yeah. not And it wasn't like not cool. It wasn't like an iCloud leak or anything, too. It was a professional photo shoot that she did for, I don't remember what magazine. It was GQ, I want to say. GQ, yeah. And then just like, you know, when you're taking pictures... The photographer, photographer's just sitting there going, click, 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 well, click, so click, she, click, it was, click, click, It was click. one of those where she's, like, topless, but she's, like, got her hands over her tits. But, like, the boobs or, or nipples still showing. No, well, no, but, like, her hands were over. topless. I think her hands were over her tits, but, like, well, like, that's what the photos that were released were. But I think oh, yeah. the photo, like, like originally. Oh, you're talking like, about the actual right, GQ photos. Right, but, like, the, yeah. the GQ photos were just, like, her whole bit was, like, she had her shirt off and she had her hands she over her tits. and Yeah, hand bra. 
And then like they took pictures because like, her shirt was fucking off. But like, you know, people are constantly snapping. And she was like, when you pick the final edits, then like they should have deleted everything else. But like somebody held on to these. Yep. This happened back in 2016. So this is three years ago. And then now just recently somebody's been like, oh, hey, here's some Iggy Azalea links. Now, I did not search them out. I did not search them out, but I, I saw them online. I, I didn't specifically search them out. I was somewhere, and I saw they were there. I didn't click a link to I go did. to them. I, did. I didn't click a link. I did. I saw them. I'm a bad person. I may have opened an email, so I was sort of clicking, <laughs> that's sort of clicking a link. But somebody else, <laughs> somebody else clicking. sent me that. They didn't say these Ooh, have the nudes. Me. They said Iggy Azalea. And I was like, what? Okay. Bullshit. I mean, I thought I had I had an idea of what it might be, but I was just like, I'm doing it for research purposes. I'm not doing this Which, by to the way, harm this woman. I don't think she's, she's a fantastic, dead. beautiful woman, by the way. And I feel this is this is such a violation. And I hope that whoever put these out gets completely like fucked over for this because that's not cool to oh, do, yeah, man. No, she definitely. Should. I hope she gets a shit ton of money out of it. Now, also, this is probably still good for her career. It's definitely not bad for her career, because but like, it's not what she wants. It's not. She I hasn't understand. been in the news. Since probably 2016. No, when, was it Nick Young? Yeah, when uh, Nick that Young. That was last year. When though. it came out. No, it wasn't last year. It was at least two years ago uh, because it was, uh, what's his name? Uh, D. Uh, Russell. D Demarcus Russell. Demarcus Russell. He was on the Lakers, and that was two years ago. Oh, right. Now he's on the Nets, isn't And it? now he's on the Nets, and he's killing it for the Nets to get traded away from the Lakers basically because he leaked cell phone uh Video of Nick Young talking about not cheating intentionally, on her. but like he's like videoing him and the boys hanging out, and like the conversation going he on in the background was it. about like Nick Young fucking a bunch of other chicks. But he like, posted yeah, it. And it was no, he 100 percent knew what he was doing. He was just 19 and really stupid. Well, I think I think it was also possibly one of those classic things of like ah, we're doing this, and then he just shared, he just like posted it right then and there, and like didn't even like probably wasn't even paying attention to what Nick Young was saying. I mean, and the shit camera like was that. pointed at Nick Young while Nick Young was talking, but he was probably just like I don't know, he's fucking probably high. He's, he's 19. Shit, he's 19. Know. He was 19 and stupid. And the late and it, this, and I love that he did it too because he got traded away from the Lakers, and now he's really good, and the Lakers suck. For now. For now, they do, at least. I mean... I mean, fuck the Lakers. Fuck the Lakers. Here's the thing. Don't get gonna, me wrong. Even but. if they get Kawhi, LeBron James is going to be a pain in the ass, and Kawhi is going to fake another injury and be out for a year. So I think that was uh, that was it. That was comeback, kids. All right. Uh, what we got? Uh, I got a bomb you right here. You got... You got oh, no, we got... What would Jesus do his back? Oh, fuck yes. It's yes. the new segment that's been sweeping the nation <laughs> we did it one time last week and apparently you guys liked it enough to where one of you wrote in again so this is pretty much my buddy darren and i kind of like randomly just like brought this like darren was talking to me about the bachelor party that we were talking about a couple weeks ago and i was like what would jesus do in this situation and i was like this would be a really funny idea if people just threw us situations that jesus would be but it's like a modern day and so last week was it jesus at a music festival yeah, that was pretty interesting. And this week's "What Would Jesus Do?" comes from our buddy Daniel Tom Chesson of our sister podcast. I guess they're our brother podcast because they're dude, dude. Oh, I guess so. Yeah, it's our uh, our familial podcast, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, this week's idiot. "What Would Jesus Do?" question you comes from Daniel Tom Chesson, and he says, "What would Jesus do if cowboys were doing meth instead of cocaine, and how would the horses get ridden?" I mean, like, is Jesus, what? is he supposed to be one of the cow? Like, I thought these were supposed to be situations that Jesus was in. I did. That was the intention. <laughs> but you know what? I really wanted to just bring the segment back. <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, well, if Jesus was a cowboy. This is more of an answers question that he asked under the WWJD umbrella. Yeah, he just said Jesus, so we tagged it under something different. Um, and it worked. Well, I mean, so cowboys probably. He's, he's playing on cocaine cowboys, obviously. Yeah. Um, if they were meth cowboys, they would be way more fucked up. Well, also, they would have been able to get more done because they could have stayed awake for three or four days at a time. They'd have worse teeth. Yeah, but I assume their teeth were probably pretty bad anyway. Yeah, that's true. That's um, true. I mean, just, I feel like Jesus... But what would Jesus do he would be a, He would probably be pro, or anti that. Because yeah. Jesus is like, if it grows in the ground, I'm cool with it. But, like, this stuff is, like, well, you he, know, they'd be able to listen to, like, while they were wired at night and all the work was done, Jesus could be preaching to them and spreading the word but of God. But are they really listening or are they just getting that's those the, high like, thoughts? Like, like, yeah, that's a great idea. I'm going to do that. That's a good idea. I don't okay, think it would okay. be penetrating the same way. You're right. I, I just don't. don't I, yeah. And they'll be a little, like, they're not going to be giving you their full attention. But I feel like Jesus would be, like, he's such a captivating dude. He's like, this is the son of God. 
that is like legit telling me to get off meth. I think like maybe Jesus would turn the meth cowboys into cocaine cowboys because he would be able to yes. persuade them with the word. You know, he he would back them off, be like, you know, this still ain't great, but like, why don't you just switch to a little coke? Yeah. Hey, you know how you like doing meth and it keeps you awake, and you can get all your shit done. Well, why don't you try this cocaine? It does the same thing, but also you're able to sleep. That too. I mean, you're not always able to that's sleep. What, I don't Jesus, think, that's what Jesus would get them onto cocaine. That's what he would do. <laughs> what would Jesus do if me, uh, ca- cocaine cowboys were? Ca- meth, meth is definitely cowboys? worse than cocaine, he and like would, the pyramid of yeah. like bad drugs. He would definitely get a bad. Well, also, I mean, this was back in the 1800s. I'm assuming this is Red Dead days. There was cocaine. They have cocaine gum. Cocaine gum. You do have cocaine gum. Yeah, there was. Co- that's a good point. There was cocaine cola. That's what it was. It was cocaine in there. All right, so I'm just going to adjust my answer. Then. So, so it was Jesus would get you then. off that. He'd get you on the cocaine gum yeah. instead of the meth, and then he'd teach you how to hunt all of the 16 legendary animals, and you'd just start just hunting animals. Did you get them all? Not yet. I'm at nine of them. Yeah, I think, I, I think I'm going to spend uh, this weekend doing that. I, I've sp- I spent like two days over the weekend just like – And some fish. I, I played like seven hours just playing hunting. And that was all I did. I'm going to do it too. But yeah, that's what Jesus would do. Jesus would just get him back on the cocaine. Yeah, I think so. Cause, cause I think cocaine, like he'd, start, he'd get him down then, to cocaine, co- and then he'd be like, how about this weed? Well, you I mean, back, weed? back then, cocaine wasn't as bad. Because what it was, it, it was a harsh world you lived in. You had right, to survive right. how you could. You weren't making it past 40 anyway. That's a good point. These are all very good points you're bringing up, Pat. Especially as a cowboy. They lived a rough life. They needed to take the How would the horses getting ridden? Uh, they'd get ridden in the back. Everybody knows that. Oh, that's the same. And how was, well, I mean, the horses still would have just been ridden. They would have just been ridden by people on meth. Very furiously. Yeah. Go! Go! They'd go! Be ridden We've got to go! We've got to go! They'd be ridden more. They would just be run, ridden just harder. Just because instead of getting to sleep at night, the cowboys would still be messed up. and, and that, But I think they'd be overworked. But Jesus, that's why Jesus would get him back on cocaine is to help the horses. Really, it is. Jesus loves all that's, creatures. That's what that's the horses are the key to this question that Daniel asked. And I us. say that as a the pope, as the pope of Houston, the H Town Pope, I agree with H-Town you. H Town so, Pope. So uh, what Jesus would do is he would he would get him to go down to meth, or get him Dan, down to go can to. Can I co- change my fucking Twitter thing from at Pat Dion to H Town Pope? Just make your like name instead of Pat Dion. Just make it the H Town Pope. I think I'm gonna have to do that. Like keep it at not Pat Dion. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I think Jesus would get the co- the Cowboys to stop doing meth and start doing cocaine, particularly cocaine gum, and then he would ju- the horses would just get ridden furiously, but then he would kind of like he'd wean them off of that. So that's what Jesus would do if Cowboys were doing meth instead of cocaine, and that's how he would get the horses ridden. Yeah. And that was this week's. WWJD segment for Past the Gravy. Hey, we're going to do this until you guys quit sending them in. What you can s- was one of us. Just a slob like one of us. Blee, 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 blue. <laughs> Blah, blah, blee, blee. If blah. you would like to submit a scenario for the WWJD segment, basically saving the WWJD segment, we don't have any. We didn't have two. We had one person sent him in. So this almost Keep went. Keep going because I'm enjoying it. It almost went the way of PTGMD. <laughs> and that was sad because I was really excited about that I one segment. Too. That was a lot of fun playing doctor. And then it just it didn't work out. We, uh, we want to be your spiritual leaders, guys. So hit us up. We started a cult. We started a new segment. Hashtag PTG. I actually have a certificate as a uh, minister. So he is very, he's qualified for this. I am very qualified, guys. So hashtag PTG WWJD at Pass Gray Pod. I'm at Alex J. Middleton. Pat's at not Pat Dion. And Robert is at Robert Barbosa03. Hashtag PTG WWJD. Just give us a scenario that you want us to throw Jesus into. And we'll tell you what he would do. It doesn't matter like, if it's like an actual biblical situation. Any situation. You just heard the one we did. It's fine. Like, what would Jesus do if they brought the wrong gravy on top of his mashed potatoes? Ooh, like, shit like that. Like, I mean, I'd love to get to the bottom of that one. Brown gravy versus white gravy. What would you, you know? Yeah, it's a good just question. Just whatever. You know, what, uh, you know what Jesus would do if he had any car issues? What would he, he do? He wouldn't just, like, create a miracle. I think like, I know what he would do. He'd probably go to, he'd probably go to our friends at Napa. Auto parts. Oh, not probably. You know why? Because they, they have that Napa know-how. That's what that they Napa have. Napa know-how! Napa Auto Parts and Machine Shop in Conroe Montgomery have been helping customers with their automotive needs for over 37 years. They're locally owned and family 
operated as a company. If it has a motor, the gang at Napa can get you the parts that you need to get it fixed, and they'll even fix it for you. They even sell you Little M air fresheners as well. So the best like machine shop and auto parts shop in the world is selling the best air fresheners in the world. If they had a bar with Southern Star on it, like, this would just be the most perfect place oh on my earth, God. realistically. Uh, for all your automotive needs, go and see them at 201 South Fraser Street in Conroe or 22150 Eva Street in Montgomery. That's 201 South Fraser Street in Conroe or 22150 Eva Street in Montgomery. They're also going to give you a free battery or alternator test and $5 off any purchase of $25 or more when you mention Pass the Gravy. What a great deal. Go up there and just be like, hey, guys, pass the gravy game. And they're like, oh, here, here's $5 off any purchase. And then you guys want your alternator or battery checked out? We got you. So go to see our friends at Napa Auto Parts, 201 South Fraser Street in Conroe or 22150 Eva Street in Montgomery, and get your Napa know-how. The Napa know-how! Also, like them at Napa Auto Parts Machine Shop on Facebook. Give them a five-star review on Facebook. And just, you know, uh, like make sure you somehow work out that, like, you know, oh, pass that gravy at, after the end of it. Be like, oh, this is the best place in the world. I love it. And pass that gravy. And then they'll be like, oh, we get you. So uh, Napa Auto Parts, welcome aboard. We're super happy that you, you guys are our newest sponsor of Pass the Gravy. And we love you guys for sure. All right, uh, moving on to Not Cool. We got quite a bit of Not Cools, I feel like, this week. And a lot of listeners submitted Not Cools. You can submit them to us at Pass the Gravy Pod. Just hashtag PTG Not Cool. Let us know what it is. We'll read it on the podcast. So here we go. This is the Not Cool segment. Not cool, man. Dude, that's not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Dude, that's not, not, cool. not cool, man. Dude, that's not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Dude, that's not cool. Not, not, cool. not, not, cool. not cool. This is pretty much, for those of you that may be new, just stuff that's happened in the last week or so since we talked to you guys that just might be like, hey, that's not cool. Yeah, like, that sucks. It can be a big deal or it can be just like a, a little a little tiny thing, you know, like maybe you like tripped. Your, penis. You, you, your shoe came untied and you tripped on your shoelace. Boomers. That's not cool. Might be, yeah, that's also always a not cool. <laughs> uh, our first one is uh, from our buddy Ryan Gonzalez at Rygo underscore 17. He actually has two for us this week. And he said, this is this. It actually made me chuckle on Saturday. And I felt bad because <laughs> I was chuckling at his expense. But oh, like, shit. I feel you because that's that's something that I would totally do. But uh, Ryan said, I accidentally left the fridge cracked open last night. And now I have to go grocery shopping after I throw everything out. And like, that seems like something exactly that I would do. Yeah. And it sucks where you're just like, fuck, that was on me, wasn't it? It just also made me think that like, Man, that's what an adult uh, adult does. I would probably just chance it. I would try and salvage most of it, I feel like, still. <laughs> I would just close it when I woke up in the morning and be like, ugh. Maybe don't drink the milk, but everything else is probably good. Right. <laughs> yeah, don't drink the milk. But that's why you go almond milk. Like, I don't understand people that buy regular milk. You go almond milk. Because uh, it's way better and tastes way better than almond milk. I disagree. I don't think they taste that different. I mean, when, I, when I'm drinking milk, I'm not looking for, mmm, that's thick. I don't think that's how almond milk is, and I like that almond milk lasts like a month. No, I'm not. I'm not sure. Like, I I don't dislike. Almond I just don't milk. drink enough milk to where like I would buy like regular milk and it wouldn't go bad. You know, like that's why I get almond milk because I know like I'm always like I'll randomly like oh I could have cereal right now, and then oh shit we don't have any milk or oh good we have this whole thing of almond milk that I haven't used in four weeks and it's still like good through the next half of a month. That's the best. That's the, the spin zone I think to like argue for. I mean, just almond regular milk. milk you, you cook with regular milk and shit all the time, too, man. You can cook with almond milk all the time, too, as well. You just you don't do, like, any cooking at all, do you? Everything's Very ordering basic out. cooking. No, I, I just... Like, dude, eggs. When you make, uh, like, fucking you scrambled eggs. You pour milk in eggs? Oh, dude, dude, scrambled eggs. You pour a little bit of milk in there. You throw your shit. You whip that up. It makes them a lot fluffier. Okay. That's the best way to do it. The, like, that's the thing that, like, I, like, I'm like i shocked that, like, when I talk to people about it, nobody knows about throwing some milk into your I, eggs. I've heard about it. I just don't ever really do it. It's so much better, man. I'm just, Dude, I always throw, I'll throw you, cheese on that do. bitch. Oh, that's what you do. When you scramble the eggs, it, what you do, throw it, throw your eggs into a bowl first, throw a little milk in there, throw some cheese in that bitch and your salt, pepper, whatever the fuck you can use, whip that shit up and then, you know, get your pan hot and then put it into the pan, dude. Okay. It's a whole nother level. Maybe if you're fancy, get some creme fraiche. I don't know what that is. I don't even really know what it is either. Creme fresh. I see it on cooking shows. You're being a real panini, but I feel like <laughs> yeah, you know dude, what you're milk, about milk there. into your scrambled eggs, guys. Come on, be adults. Kick it up. Don't a be a panini. Use that milk and when you season make it that shit. Eggs. Don't be somebody that doesn't season their fucking food. Season that bitch up. With little, like little Tony Satchery's. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. You don't have to go salt and pepper. Or Tony Satchery's. You don't need to go nuts. 
Old Bay, maybe. Old Bay would probably be pretty good. Maybe if you got a little lemon the pepper. The Northeastern. Got a little lemon Tony pepper. Satries, basically. Drop that shit in there. Yeah. Some maybe chives. A little, maybe a little Jonathan's Rub if you swing by. Oh. That shit goes good on Jonathan's everything. Jonathan's Rub. Go check them out. Yeah. Um. Okay. Also, Ryan has another not cool, and he says... My ga- my Xbox gamer tag for the last ten years was Biznitch fifty seven, <laughs> and it was reported, and a new gamer tag was forced on me, which I guess means that they just gave him like a generic one. This is what it makes it seem like. Yeah. So it was reported because Biznitch apparently was offensive, and uh, Xbox was going to charge him ten dollars to change his gamer tag to something of my choice. So just quickly, let's explain to those of you that may not know what a gamer tag is. If you play Xbox and you play online. Gamer tag is pretty much just your like profile or screen name. That, like, oh, like if you ever had has. aim, yeah, like yeah. Your screen name. So yeah. like like you're Red Chubby Panda, right? Red, red Six Chubby Panda. And I'm A Town Six One Six. And like that's just like which like mine's been that since that's high school. That's what it shows up as. Right. And so like when I could you were on on uh, I think Monday you got on. And I, I remember seeing Red Chevy Panda popped up. I remember, like, I, I was playing Red Dead, and I saw you were playing too, and I was like, maybe I should go to Red Dead online. And I was like, nah. You should have ho- hit me up. We would have hopped online and just fucked some shit up and then gotten Good. off, and then be like, oh, right, let's go play. Like, I'll just be like, wait, for, like, 10 minutes, we should have just done, like, we just fuck up everything we can and then just, like, X off. <laughs> I'm going to go back to story mode. All right, talk to you later, bro. Yeah, we should have done that. That would have been really funny. But um, so the Xbox, ta- your gamer tag is basically that, and his was Biznitch. Or 57. So then apparently after 10 years, somebody reported it. Xbox changed it to a random one, I guess. Oh, like, fuck that guy. Or girl. Like, who the fuck? Like, just don't get it. Like, it's fucking Xbox, it's man. It's business. Just chill the it's fuck not out. Bitch. It's not that big. It's not that big a deal. And bitch isn't even that offensive. It's a female <sighs> dog is what he was sure. talking about. It's a rapping female dog he was referring to. Jeez. <laughs> Um, so they tried to charge him $10 to change his gamer tag to something of his choice. Luckily, he created a case with them, and they ended up waiving the fee. But now his gamer tag is offensive when it hasn't been for the last 10 years. I want to know what it is now. Like, how is it offensive now? I told him, I told him, like, that pretty much sums up society in 2019. Was like, yeah. um, actually, that's a bad word. And the way it makes me feel is offensive. Like, like, I, 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 like I really hope he did intentionally... Change it to something that's actually offensive. I hope he changed it to biznatch. <laughs> Biz like, snatch. Like I don't want him to throw like a like a edit, like a racial slur or anything out there, but like fucking women are cunts. Eighty seven. <laughs> like like just something out there. They're like, whoa, dude, that's fucked up. So I, I wish thought, we actually knew what it was. Now I thought that uh, myself and another person. Or is had- it only offensive because it's not what he wants it to be? <laughs> I saw that, like, I thought that my, myself and another person that I will not name, I'll tell you off air, but, like, I don't want to, like, I don't want to burn them on this one, but we, like, we throw around, like, we make up names for just stupid shit, and yeah. uh, we were talking about, like, vagina as, like, sniz, <laughs> and... You didn't make that up, South Park did. Yeah, and I found out, like, I didn't make it up, but, like, I thought, like, sniz was, like, a good one. You should try and make it, like, something sniz. <laughs> <laughs> Sniz-tastic. But I was watching Parks and Rec the other day, and then, like, Sewage Joe was like, I am up to my neck in hot sniz. And I was like, that's already a thing. That's already a thing. Yeah, no, South Park, uh, but they, sniz- had, they had an episode where terrorists uh, uh, hit a, uh, a a snook, which is like a, like a small nuclear device up uh, Hillary Clinton's pussy. Uh, so they, they kept saying she had a snook in her sniz. Snook in her sniz. Okay. So, so sniz is what that was from then. <laughs> but uh, it is not used... It, uh, Urban Dictionary apparently says it is a slang word for vagina. It is not used in a derogatory way like cunt, but a cool, trendy, explicit <laughs> slang for vagina. Hey, girl. How's your sniz? Hey, girl. Your sniz is looking great tonight. Just try like so like everybody that's a new that's a new like homework piece we're gonna give you right now. Try and work the word sniz. Like you got panini already. Call somebody a panini that's being a little bitch. <laughs> and then like try and work the word sniz in instead of saying like vagina or cunt this week. And then I think we'll make this world a better place. Hey girl, I'm going to Walgreens. You need anything for your like, sniz? I feel like like cunt it cuts to you. And I get like when you're being mean to somebody, it's you're saying such you're being a great word. You're saying though. like when you're like, you're a fucking cunt. It's like, oh whoa. But like it's funny if you're like, could be in such a sniz. Because like I feel like anybody that you're with is like <laughs> You gotta just sniz, what? Did you just call her a fucking sniz? It sounds like something like Dr. Seuss would say. <laughs> Doesn't <Yes>. it? <laughs> the sniz is. I don't know what else we can write. Sniz and jizz. 
Jizz on that sniz. It definitely sounds like something that would be in the Lorax somewhere in there. It does. The Lorax is on his sniz. So sniz, that's a new word we've all learned. Yeah, sniz. Get on it, guys. Although I like panini better. You're a panini yeah, if you I don't, don't try. I, I, I hate to tell you, I don't think that one's gonna happen. It's gonna, it's gonna catch on. That, that, everybody, that, everybody, call Pat. Call, gonna, tell it, Pat that he's being a real baby back panini. It's gonna be like fetch. It's just not gonna happen. No, fetch and wieners. I'm gonna make panini happen. Panini is happening. It's happened. We're starting a goddamn I'll, revolution. I mean, I'll fucking eat a panini any well, really, day of the week. This is also a way that we can get like Lil Nas X on the podcast by being like, remember, like we get what behind that before you started it as a thing. Because I bet you when that song gets big, when he puts it on Spotify all right, all right, and all that. All right, I'm in now. Right? I want to get him on here. I want to also. I want to find out if he's actually a Bruins fan. He probably just... But do you see Tom Brady tweeted him? No, I mean, him? he's from Georgia. Do you see Tom Brady tweeted him and was like, hey, you going to play that at opening day or opening or our opening game or whatever? And he was like, sign me up. Yeah. How fucking dope is that? He's probably just like, like if some team was like, hey, come hang out with me. Unless it was the Dallas Cowboys, the Philadelphia Eagles, and probably the Washington Redskins because I'm not a racist. But uh, then, like, I would just be like, yeah, like, like, hey, you guys want to like open up and do like the pregame party with pass the gravy? And like, we'd be like, fuck yeah. Like if the Seahawks, like you guys want to come out and do the pregame thing for us, I'd be like, yeah. Um, okay, our next not cool listeners submitted not cool, and I love when you guys. Participate. So this makes me really happy Cinnamon. that we have three listeners submitted not cools, even though it's the two of you guys that sent them in. But uh, Danielle Weston at Danny underscore Weston. She says, food poisoning day number two, and someone tried to order a Roomba from my Amazon account. Hashtag not cool. Dude, not cool. That is really not cool. Food poisoning Theft, especially. Not but cool. also then like you just find out that someone's trying to fucking steal Jack your shit. Yeah. Not yeah. cool. So, uh, yeah, food. Uh, I hope those. you just rerouted it and you're like, yeah, because I want that Roomba. So, like, because Roombas are dope. As somebody that's not like a thief, at least on Amazon, uh, <laughs> not anymore. I'm not a thief. I mean, like, back in the day, you know, I stole some shit back then. Like, but yeah. it was like always like stupid stuff. Was Candy stupid. bar here and there. Uh, some beer. You yeah. know, like, I never like, I stole some hearts. If you know what I'm saying. Hey. Oh. Hey. Hey, yo. Yeah. Teenage girls are stupid. <laughs> yeah. They liked Alex. That was dumb on their part, wasn't it? <laughs> um, but, yeah. like So, like, if you – like, if Robert hacked my Amazon account, like, he, you have to send it to, like, a P.O. box, right? I have absolutely no – I don't That's what I've always Amazon. wondered. Where, like, these people, like, they have, like – somebody, like, ordered a bunch of shit to Amazon. It's like, well, then, like, I'm, I'm first going to go look, like, what address? <laughs> yeah. Okay, if it's like a house, you like just call Amazon hey, immediately, and be like, "Hey, don't ship that there. That's theft." Also, like if you like are gonna file a police report, hey, this is the address it went to. Yeah, go there. Okay, unless they're like package thieves. Are these the? Uh, is that what these people are doing? Are they like thinking that they're shipping stuff stuff there and then they just take it, and they just hope that that's what they ordered? Oh, you just stake out the house. That seems like a lot of work, though, for, like, a Roomba. Like, how bad do you really need a Roomba, man? Just, like, buy it. Like, you're spending, like, 18 hours at least working on that, like, having to break into somebody's shit. Like, I mean, I don't know how hard it is to do that. But then, like, you get to go stake out the house. Like, that's so much time. No, you just you hang out at the house, and when the car pulls up, you act like you're walking big. Oh, yeah, that's mine. I'll sign for it. And you just walk away with it. But if it's Amazon, I think they just drop it off. Oh, that's what I'm saying. But if you should, like, if you see them pull up and you're walking up, and the, then they don't have to drop it off. They can be like, oh, this is yours? Cool. And you just take it, wait for them to pull away, and then you walk away. Okay. That's what I'm saying. You stake out the house. You just hope it, you know, gets delivered with no What's worse, there. food poisoning or having food somebody poisoning. try and, food like, poisoning. steal your identity? Food poisoning. Identity theft's not a joke, Pat. I've never had food poisoning, but from... Every oh, no, now I've told knock employers on, knock on wood. I've told employers that I've had food poisoning when I just didn't want to fucking go to work. Robert, have you ever had food poisoning? And I use that excuse way too often <laughs> at H E B. I've had food poisoning once. Did you think that apple has poisoning in it? Oh, if it's a poison apple, you're in no. bad. Now, now, luck. now, Robert, would you rather have food poisoning or have somebody try and uh, identity order some theft shit on your Amazon? Which one would I rather have? Identity yeah. theft or food poisoning? I guess I would rather have food poisoning. Really? No, no. He's saying identity theft. Would you rather? They have ordered somebody, somebody something as would you. Would you rather have food poisoning, or would you rather just get on your Amazon? White Street would shit, consider it. Somebody fucking ordered a Roomba on here, and then you can just dispute those charges. Um, 
food poisoning is pretty bad. I wouldn't want food poisoning. I, see, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah I, food poisoning sounds horrible. I've never had horrible. it myself, but from everyone I've ever told, like, it's the worst fucking yeah. thing ever. And then it makes You're you hate whatever you had that gave it to you. For days. I think it's like two or three days, but like. Yeah. What if, though, like, all of the Amazon stuff, like, just showed up at your house that they ordered though. <laughs> and it's like, well, I don't, I mean, I guess I, I, have, would, a, I, I guess no, I have I, a Roomba I, now. I opened a big, I didn't order this and I just called him big. I didn't order this shit. Somebody I mean, you s- could do that, but like, that'd be account. funny if you're just like, I guess I got a Roomba. All right. No, like, if it was shit, you I wanted start using it. Yeah. If it was shit, you want to be like, all right, well keep this. But like, I didn't, what order are these, these ninja things. stars? <laughs> See, that's more of a, I'm keeping this. <laughs> if you're watching, if you're watching the video version of the podcast, you have a you can see a drunk purchase that I made in the background behind Pat. It's a no, they can't. Uh, they can't see it. Uh, well, they can't, they can't see it. Pick it up real fast, Pat. God damn it. Well, I mean, I've talked about it now, so you have to kind of show it to them. I gotta step over but, the fourteen wires. Yeah, it's really unsafe. But I uh, I was drunk and ordered a like blow up cactus plant. Don't know why. <laughs> Don't know why, but I can see drunk Alex being like, this would be pretty sweet for the studio. I'm just going to leave this here so it blocks your face for the rest of the podcast. Don't do that. Just, the... just put it back. No, I just, no, I, I, I want to hold it. Just, you can hold it. I want to hold it. I guess you can hold it. All right. So uh, that was that was Danny's not cool at Danny underscore Weston. But uh, yeah, food poisoning and somebody trying to order yeah, shit dude, from your like, Amazon account. That's a double not cool for you. And I'm sorry cool, that happened to you, have Danny. Food poisoning, you don't want to deal with that bullshit. Hey, T's and P's. And I hope that T's I hope you got it all sorted out with Amazon. And I, I mean, Amazon has had some pretty good customer service from everything that I've heard. Luckily, <laughs> knock on wood, I haven't had to use them yet. But actually, I have. I've had, I've, I had something that didn't show up one time and I hit them up and they're like, yeah, we'll just send it again. And they, they didn't ask any, like, proof that it didn't get there or anything. I was like, yeah, okay. It, yeah. All right, I'll shut up. Yeah, they're like, we're worth $47 billion. We don't care. We'll send you yeah. another one. But, um, so those, thank you, Ryan and Danny, for, for hitting us up with your not cools. If you guys want to submit your own, hashtag PTG not cool at Pass 3 Pod. I'm at Alex J. Middleton. Pat's at not Pat Dion. And Robert is at Robert Barbosa 3 Now to our not cools. You got one? Yeah, I've, uh, I've got a couple, actually. Um my first one. Yeah, Pat texted me last night, and he was like, "Dude, I have so many not cools." No, you <laughs> called me yesterday. Yeah. What'd you call me? Uh, just Pat very say, rarely calls me unless he's drunk, and when he's drunk, it's after like 10 p.m. And I'm always like, "Yeah." Oh, Pat's drunk. He's like, "Ah, he's a guy. Great idea." <laughs> That's always when I call out. And so, like, he called me yesterday. I was like, "I don't think I think Pat's at work," but I was like, "This must be urgent." And I first thought I was like, "He's probably gonna like be like, I'm sick. I can't do the podcast or something." I don't. Like I don't. Like, I, don't, oh, I, don't man. I don't think it was just. I, I don't think it was like the drunk or anything. There was some. There was something else that I. You said. called I me for a specific reason. I can't remember it. Yeah, neither can I. Obviously, it was very important then. Yeah, it was super important. Um, <laughs> yeah, my first one is just uh, tires. My uh, <laughs> once again, one even me. It always starts out with somebody else, but uh, my brother. Uh, he was at the rehearsal dinner you for said it. tires. Yeah, tires. Straight up tires. Not cool in general. Because right? have you seen that video of the military tires that like just don't pop? Yeah, but they those, can like go on all. T- just put those on all the cars. Yeah, put those but, on all the cars. Yeah, but do you want to spend six thousand dollars on a tire minimum? No, you don't. Make them affordable. Figure it out, guys. Yeah, it's twenty nineteen. It anyway, my brother is leaving uh, the rehearsal dinner for his buddy's wedding on Friday night. Uh. And or it was after that, so it's like twelve fifty in the morning. I'm uh, out at my buddy's, and he calls me. And goes, dude, my tire's blown. I need you to call, uh, get out of here because he tried to use his uh, his jack, but his jack was like fucked up. So I've had that happen. Me. That's a very pathetic feeling when you're just kind of. So, like, oh, I have it though. I know what I'm. I know what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, did you try and jack it up? Yes, I tried that. Yeah, man. but his jack was just shit. So I have to drive out there. I don't get home till like fucking three o'clock in the morning. We're both just exhausted. My dad, like, I had that happen one time, and then my dad just bought me like the super jack, where you just have like the handle on it, and you just go pump, 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 pump. God, I wish I had. One instead of, of having to like turn it. And it's like, which I, I'm actually fine with the turn because it doesn't take that. Well, long, it doesn't. But like, it doesn't. I'd rather but like, have the pump. Like the time, like it fucked up on me. It was like raining, and it was like it was like the worst possible fucking thing. And there were two different times where I got it up right under the thing, and then it would like be at an angle because it was like on a hill. So it was fucking. Oh, it was the worst. Oh no, see, it was, fuck that. It was the worst. On a hill, that's the worst. Yeah, but um, so yeah, it, I had to go out and get him. Then the next day, you know, he had wedding shit to do, so we had to drive out there like nine o'clock in the morning. Change the fucking tire, then drive it back. Then I, um, uh, yeah. So that all that happened. Then uh, of course Sunday, you know, the wedding is Saturday. Uh huh. Saturday. He, uh, of course, it's a wedding, so we get shit faced. 
So I didn't do it Saturday. I was fucking exhausted all the next day. I was supposed to meet up with my buddy. That's what I was saying earlier when I teased this today. Uh, I had to get up at nine. So like when I got back home, I had to help my sister take her dogs to get their shots. I get back home after that. I passed the fuck out. So basically my Saturday Memorial Day plans were shot because I was just exhausted. I only got not enough sleep for what I need because I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> Sunday, I'm like, dude, fuck you. It's your car. You can change. Uh, go get your own tire. Sunday, he's hung over his shit. He doesn't want to do it. Monday, he's still fucking tired. It's a two-day hangover after a wedding. That's brutal. It's understandable. I'm, I'm telling you, I think I said that a couple weeks ago. Like, I'm I'm 30 now. Yeah. And I had, like, my first ever three, like, two and a half day hangover. Yeah, that you're, and a it's rookie. Like, you're a fucking you, rookie. You have, like, it's a horrible hangover day one, and then you just feel like somebody just beat the shit out of you for yeah. the second day. You're and then the third day, you're just like, oh, I still don't want to wake up right yeah, now. Yeah, so bad. So then, like I said, Sunday, he don't want to do it Monday. I also didn't get a lot of sleep in between this. So. Tuesday, he goes to work, uh, you know, because we had Monday off, and I go, fuck it, I'll take the morning off. I'll go get all this shit done. So uh, I go to the first discount tire in Katy, and I pull up, and... Oh, a don't gi- mind me. I'm just opening up another Ooh, bombshell blonde from our you know, friends at Southern Star Brewing Company. Too. Sorry, uh, as you yeah. were. I pull up to the first one. Of course, there's like 11 cars in front of me. I don't even walk all the way inside. I just head back to my car and go, fuck this. I'm going to the next one. So I pull up to the second place. Same fucking thing. And I'm like, dude, this is bullshit. And there's three in Katie. So I Google the next one. And, you know, I head over there. And immediately I'm able to walk right in. I get right up to the fucking counter. I'm like, perfect. This is dope. Guy comes out, checks my tire, does all the shit. He looks up the system and goes, well, we don't actually have that tire in stock. He goes, I can call yeah, the other yeah, place yeah. and see if they have it. I go, yeah, call the one by Katie Mills. Have you ever like? Have you ever had mismatched tires? Oh, yeah. Okay, I've, d- I've done that so many times. Yeah, no, just dude, like, I, oh, I have no okay. problem with that. I'm not going anywhere else, so just yeah, yeah. do this. But no, but just the one that fit his car, they didn't yeah, have it in yeah. stock. Oh, like the size. Yeah, the size. I've had different brands. Like I've had like, no, three I, no, different brands dude, on four tires. I'm pretty sure right now, two of my tires are from Walmart. Two of them are from Disney. Well, like, well, it's different a different brands. brand. Like, does it? Does it like fit on a car and and ride? Like, yeah, no, roll? it's fine. Okay, because I'm cool with that. Yeah, but like, yeah, I get to the. He's like, but they're we not all Michelin's. It. I don't give a fuck, dude. So, so the guy calls back to the other place, the second place I was at. They have it in stock, and he was like, "Cool, well, I'm gonna get you in line right there." So, I drive back over there. Of course, at that point, there's still like six other cars in front of me. Luckily, I had to like run over to the Walmart that was by there. I go over there, I get a little lunch, and as I'm walking back, it actually turned into a pretty cool. Because they said it probably won't be done until, you know, maybe like 11.15. Which, you know, these places always give them leeway, so they tell you longer than it's going to be. Right, right. So I walk over to Walmart. I get my shit. I stop at Subway. I grab a sandwich. I'm walking back up at 10.15, and my car was pulling up to the front. And I was like, perfect fucking time. And that's pretty dope. So, like, it was not cool. I had to run around to three different fucking places. But, you know, it turned out pretty cool. But my second not cool, and this is for my buddy. All names will be redacted i'm not sharing any names here come on ah, i know but You're uh being a real panini on just <laughs> it's, it's he thing. just had some girl just go fucking psycho on him man like so <sighs> it was just a random or not not a random but a girl a, a casual i will say that they've been hooking up but it's casual there's nothing close to boyfriend and girlfriend okay he finds out that she was counting his condoms so that when she came back the next time Ooh. so she could see if he was banging anybody else so she goes and she's like, why are you missing five condoms? And he was like... Uh, Is that how she found out? Yeah, she was counting his condoms. So, like, the next time she came back over, he had five less than what he had before. Oh, no. Which, by the way, like, in the moment, I probably would have lied and just be like, dude, I'm, I jack off in condoms. Yeah, haven't you seen... Have you seen I Love You, man? But, like... Let's, uh, let's, let's clean up. No, no, I, I have it no... It doesn't I, create I, as much of a I, mess. I, I never asked what happened in the moment. I'm sure he still probably crushed. But, uh... But, like, he texted the group and told us about it, and unanimously everyone goes, ghost her. Don't even ever respond to her again. Because fuck her. That's, you guys, you don't owe anything to her. If it's strictly a just let's hook up thing, then yeah. yes. There, there, was, there was no relationship status in this. It was just you're a hookup. You have no right like, to go through other... He wouldn't have cared if she had done it, right? You have no other people's shit, right? But like, he wouldn't have cared if she was, no, like, banging, like, six guys. guys. Okay. That's all it is, is a hookup. You have no right to be going through other as people's shit As long as like that. both people are cool with that, 
then it's like, yeah, this is a fine like hookup situation. When somebody starts like getting their feelings hurt, then it's like we gotta cut this off. No matter how much fun it is, you gotta cut it now, off. Like, because when somebody starts catching feelings, the other person doesn't have it, and they just want it to be the hookup thing. That's a horrible yeah. situation, and it's a shitty feeling to put somebody in. But like, it's also shitty like when you're on the other end of that too. And it's like, I get that. So like, you just got, but you got to be like honest with them then. Yeah. Like, hey, well, the, this yeah, is it. This is the, the end. We got, this the, is the a mature di- this was, thing would this probably be to to say, hey, you know. That's not cool. We aren't anything. We were just hooking up. I don't want to see you anymore. But we were all like, dude, fuck it, ghost her. I mean, that's a real Panini move on her part to like count. Right? You know, he, he, you owes, know, a, yeah. he, he owes her nothing. She owes him nothing. They're not dating. They're fucking. Yeah. Not cool. Don't don't try and trap other people when you're not dating them. Don't count condoms. But they just, she, she got mad at him for the... Yeah. Okay. I mean, but like if... Ugh. It's a weird spot to be in. Yeah. It's a weird, so, no, it's so a weird it, argument so it, to like, like come back from. I don't know it. if he... Go- uh, yeah. I don't, we told him to. I don't know if he ghosts her, but he was just like, yeah, it's over. I'm not dealing with that. Well, okay. I mean, like, and if like, if you get back, like not like you start like, you know, hooking up with her again, just like new life hack, just keep a spare set of condoms. And Keep, then just replace like, the same, the same kind, the same a, brand, and just a, use refill. A di- use a different brand with every girl, and when she's coming over, put the other ones into a oh, hiding no, spot. No, no. Like what we real world used to do was they had the fish bowl with condoms in it. Just have a fish bowl or like a box in your room, like where you just dump all, like you take them out of the condom box and just dump them into. I'm like, sure this girl would have counted all the condoms that were. But in like there, I'm saying, like you gotta have like. Or like in your in your underwear drawer, just like the bottom of your underwear drawer, just like pour all of your condoms out no, loose see, into that, so you have to like dig through. And then like is, if, if there's like sixty five of them though, then it's like you just bought like just buy seven things of condoms. I'm so it's sure like this, this girl would have counted them. I think what you like need was to he do watching her count them? No, she just came back and was like, "Why are you missing five condoms?" And he found out through that way that she was counting his condoms. But see, like I feel like like you could count through twelve condoms, but if like if you just had a bunch of like if you had like sixty loose condoms just in your like underwear drawer. If this girl That's was, a lot of work. If this girl was this determined to be counting them. But I'm just saying I'm it's sure easy to pull out that little strip and be like, oh, okay, well, there's only five left on this. There were seven last time. I'm just saying if you're in this situation where you think this might happen and you have to be switching on, probably just like use a different brand of condom for different girls. Also check those condoms for holes as yes, well. Yes, definitely. Maybe just throw them out. Like just every, throw them out. I don't think you can every, see the holes in a lot of those. Do every other condom, you just fill it up with water and see if it starts leaking. <laughs> I bet you one does. So I'm saying, like, well, like you don't have to, like, because, you know, you still need to use them. But, like, you know, of two in a row, take one of them. And if it starts linking, then okay. Because she's not just going to poke random. Maybe she will poke random ones. Damn, that might not work. See, that's what I'm saying. Shit. Don't fuck crazy, guys. I know crazy's fun. Dude, I'm telling you, Panini is a whole <laughs> different level of crazy. If she's a Panini, man, you never know what she's going to do. Does she have a magic Panini? No, it would be a vagina. Or no, it would be a sniz. Magic, she has a magic sniz. Magic punani. This, pan- this panini has a magic sniz. But anyway, yeah, like, <laughs> so that was my other not cool. It's just crazy. I think like we taught you guys a lot of Crazy words. chicks counting your fucking condoms when you guys aren't even dating. Yeah, that's a pretty not cool one. That's, yeah. that's pretty not cool for sure. Don't invade other people's privacy, guys. Hey, panini, don't you count my condoms? Ask. Yeah. If, if you think you're exclusive, just fucking ask. Talk about it. Don't try and be sneaky about it. That's a good one. Yeah. So that was it. That's all the. Yeah. The, that okay. I felt like I you had like I felt like you had like a hundred yesterday. Well, just to the change. But like no, the changing you, tires had like three different. Yeah, parts you had a it. bunch of stories, so it was good. I like it. Uh, mine is nowhere near as interesting as yours, but I was uh I was patriot shamed mm. on on Memorial Day. I was patriot slash Jersey shamed. Not New England Patriot shamed, but I was shamed for representing my country. I went to the Cubs game with my girlfriend, and I have a jersey that says usa on it it's a baseball jersey and it's like a rawlings it's got like the, the like yeah. the cool like red white and blue sl- stripes on the sleeve yeah and then it's just like a blue jersey but it says usa across the front and so i was like oh we're going to a baseball game on memorial day i was gonna wear the pastros shirt but emma was rocking the cub stuff she's a cubs fan and i was like i don't want to like just be like fuck you i'm going against my girl so you should have like, been like fuck you I'm going i mean i wore girl. a 45 hat because as a yankees fan i feel weird buying another team's hat and wearing another team's stuff and i do have astro stuff that i wear for like astros days at work and i get that but like i root yeah. for the astros when they don't have an effect on the yankees yeah but like i, I feel fine wearing a 45 hat because like they were the astros but they're not really the astros you know i feel you 
So it's like it's throwback. I wear a lot of throwback like minor league baseball stuff too. But like the forty fives hat is like, oh, that's just a Houston hat, you know. And so I wore that. So it's like, okay, that's my that's basically an Astros hat, sort of. And uh, I wore my USA baseball jersey. I was like Memorial Day. This is perfect. This is fucking perfect. I'm red, white, and blue. Here we go. I did not at all think about it until I got to the ballpark and was like, oh shit, this is kind of like the exact same jersey as the old Cubs blue jersey. Except the red, oh. white, and blue, like the Ryan Sandberg, just shirt jerseys. God, Ryan Sandberg. And I was like, was fuck. I didn't even think about that, which was funny because, like, I was in the line to go take a piss at one point, and this guy was talking about the Cubs rotation with me. And I was like, why does this guy think I know about the Cubs rotation? And I was like, oh, because I'm wearing, he thinks I'm wearing a Cubs jersey. I turned around, and then he, like, kind of quit talking, talking about it pretty quick. And I was like, oh, okay. You should have turned around, but, dude, fuck Chicago, dog. No, because I don't want to be a dick to just a guy who's just trying to like be nice. Also, you just, you don't want to be punched by a drunk guy. No, I mean I think I was bigger than this guy. He was actually smaller than me, and there's very few people that are that are like smaller. I didn't say than punch by a big drunk guy. I said punch by a drunk guy. I mean, I could Drunk him people punch things. That's true. That is true. Well, I, I was just like oh, I don't. But this guy, he was some being do. he was being a nice guy. He was just trying to like we were waiting in fucking line. He was just trying to shoot the shit, and I was like, hey, there's nothing wrong with this dude. Like that guy's cool, whatever. Yeah. And I was just like, all right. So I just pretended I knew like, a couple <laughs> things about the Cubs. <laughs> And I, yeah, John Lester's a thing. Well, no, I was just talking. I mean, I was like, well, I feel like they just brought in every ex fucking Ranger now, and Cole <laughs> Hamels and you Darvish are both on the staff. And I was like, I mean, that's like why the Rangers didn't do too well with remember, them. So remember when Cole Hamel Cole Hamels refused to be traded to the Astros? I do <laughs> Call that. dickhead. I also remember the Yankees with the fuck out of him in the World Series. Remember that, Cole? Remember that? Fuck you, Cole. Fuck you and Philadelphia. Nobody That's why cool you're trash, Cole. Cole except you went for the Cole that we from know. from Philadelphia. Yeah. Except for the Cole. Except for know. movie Cole. Uh, he can be kind of a bitch sometimes. I mean, a panini sometimes. Excuse He's okay. Me. He's cool. He's cool most of the time, but sometimes he can be a panini. Uh, <laughs> be a little meanie. He, he can be a meanie. Uh, but I, I was wearing this USA jersey, so I took a picture with my girlfriend. I was like, hey, hanging out at the Astros game on Memorial Day. And I posted it online and then just got, like, roasted. Like, what the fuck are you doing? I thought you were a Yankees fan. Why are you wearing a cuff shirt? Blah, 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 blah. And, like, you couldn't see the USA in it because it was just, like, a headshot of us. And I was like, I'm just taking a picture of my girl. Whatever, man. I'll see. Well, that, I mean, it's it's not on the people roasting you, and it's not really on you. But, but like, what happens when you make assumptions, Pat? What did Don Clayton, the now retired coach at Sinker Ranch High School, say to us? You make an ass out of you and me. He did say that. That's exactly he what happens. He said a lot of other dumb things. shit. Remember the one about the mule where there was a mule? No, I tried not to listen when there he was There was a mule a that idiot. fell into a hole one time, and it was like a really big hole, and he couldn't get out. But you know what that mule did? He didn't give up. And then the next day when they were filling that hole, the mule just got some dirt on his head and shook it off and took a step up. And I was like, that's the worst story wait, wait, wait. ever. So, there would no, be hold, someone, on, hold on, hold on. But I was like, so hold these on. people were shoveling dirt into a hole, and they wouldn't be like, hey, what the fuck's with this mule that's just hanging out in so here? So it's a shitty version of Catch Me If You Can, Christopher Walken, the two mice, and a bucket of uh, Pretty much. It's pretty much that. Jesus Christ. It's pretty, I hadn't seen that before then, but I remember like when he said that, I was like, this is the worst story ever. Like, if I was, if you're shoveling dirt into a fucking pit, you're going to be like, hey. If you're trying to bury a donkey alive, you're an asshole. But you didn't know, they didn't know the donkey was in there, because that was the whole point. The donkey fell in there, but they thought he was going to get buried alive. But instead of getting buried alive, he just shook How off the dirt. How deep is this hole that up. you can't see a fucking donkey in well, it? Well, that was my whole point. I was like, if I'm throwing shovel into a hole, I'm going to see the donkey in it when I'm throwing shovel, fucking or I'm throwing donkey. water, or dirt into it. And I was like, okay. I mean, nice try on a story. this dickhead waits until a year after the guy that should have been the head coach for the last 15 years, or 10 years, whatever you want to call it. He waits until a year after this guy moves to another school. This is in getting the really inside baseball that a lot of people don't care. Yeah, about. dude. Like, just if you guys went nobody to really Ranch cares about Cinco Ranch football politics. But shout out to Chris Dudley for being the head coach. He was my history teacher. Something Dudley's the new head coach. Yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, Dudley. So honestly, like Chris Dudley is a fucking beast. But like, that's all we can talk about really with Cinco Ranch football. Sorry, shout out to them. sorry, you guys are right. We'll talk will about this off air. We'll will somebody about it later. please tag Chris Dudley though? Like, will somebody just tag Chris Dudley? Somewhere and be like, hey, Pastor Gray talked about you and they love you. Because I think Chris Dudley is the coolest guy ever. He was the fucking Dude, dopest. There's a reason we called him Studley Dudley. We loved Chris Dudley. Dude, Dudley was the man, dude. Like, I wanted to, like, be no, like, no, no, no. No, Sim Dog was the man. I wanted to be like, but, oh, his coach Simmons was earlier. Everyone's we like, called him the Sim fuck Dog. Are these yeah. No, talking. but I, 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 he was my history teacher my senior year and he was just kind of like one of those guys. Like, I don't really, like, just don't be a dick. He's and a like, Steelers just fan. fucking, he's a Steelers fan. But, 
He is a Steelers fan, but he was cool. He was a cool Steelers fan. Yeah. And he called Mike Tomlin being like a solid head coach, like way before he was. Really? Well, I mean, they've only hired like six ever, so like, or not like. Five. Well, but he was like, no, I think Tomlin's their guy. I think Tomlin's going to do a really good job as their coach, and Tomlin won a Super Bowl. So, well, did he win a Super Bowl? No, he didn't win it. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, he did. He won one. Yeah, the year after Eli. Yeah, with the the Mike Tomlin catch in the corner. Or not Antonio, Mike Tomlin. San Antonio. <laughs> San Antonio. Did I just say the Mike Tomlin? Because you had you had Tyree and San Antonio home yeah. through, were back fuck to me. back. Years. I'm just gonna go ahead and drink my sub Tomlin. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Um, but, but just, I was getting Jersey shamed and it's like, I understand it looked like a Cubs Jersey, but you guys know me. I'm a fucking, I'm a Yanks fan. And then like, I support, I, I support you should anybody take, that's you playing taken against another one the Red the Sox. USA was in it at that point and posted. I did. I took a picture of like the USA Jersey. Like, no, it was a USA shirt, but then I had to keep sharing it. I was just like, all right, I'm just like, yeah, come on guys. I'm not wearing a fucking Cubs Jersey. Not wearing a Cubs Jersey. No, so, I, mean, like, I, mean, I was like, I said, you're not at fault. I it's was like, Patriot shamed. For wearing as a, as a, my cu- my country's colors. Well, you weren't patriot shamed. I was patriot shamed. No, patriot I was representing shamed. America, and I was like called out for wearing a jersey that was red, white, and blue. But nobody on knew Memorial it was Day. A, God damn! Sorry, excuse me, guys. These burps are killing me. No, no, being patriot shamed would be somebody shaming you for wearing a USA jersey. They were shaming you for what appeared to be a Cubs jersey. Well, but it was a USA jersey, but so it's technically not. it's patriot shaming. And you know what? That, that's on you a little bit for not framing it correctly. But also, like I said, not on you because no dude ever thinks about framing a picture. You just take the fucking picture. So maybe think about that next time. The, and don't be such a panini and try and fucking call me out on this shit. Well, then uh, you you can't blame people for it, though, because you wore Cubs colors to a Cubs game, and all they could see was the Cubs colors. It's not on them. On Memorial Day. Not, hey, hey, you know, have some respect for the goddamn day. It's I'm honoring not on them. the it's fall not on every you. thought of it, that. It is, it is just a uh, lost in translation moment. Oh, excuse me for honoring the troops. Go, f- I'll go fuck myself. No, That's don't, what you were telling me bro, to do. No, That's actually, what you were telling actually, me to do, I, I, I changed my mind. Don't you know if you're going to post something on Memorial Day, you have to like blatantly shove the American angle into it? Actually, I saw the funny thing was um, my buddy uh, knew this chick who posted a red, white, and blue bikini picture. And it was like, for Memorial Day, blah, 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 all this shit. And posted this long thing. And it's just her in a red, white, and blue bikini like... All right, what the fuck does your picture or anything you're doing have to do with Memorial Day and honoring the troops? Like you're just but trying that's to, why people. That's on, what it is. But you're just trying to show your tits, and it made us laugh. And like a day later, Rod Ryan show fucking shared the same picture. Oh, she our Instagram um, feature? Yeah, she was your Instagram feature, Taylor. Whatever she did, but she did post something though about how like she knew what it was for. But it was for the fall. No, and but, all but, that but stuff. yeah, no, that was the thing. That's what she was posting. But we were wait, laughing. is your dude the guy that works with her that shared it? Uh no. Oh, because somebody anonymously shared it and works with no, her, and no, we no, couldn't no, find no, out no, who no, it was. No, it was one of our buddies that just knows her, that like saw it on his Facebook or whatever, and went, like shared it and was laughing like this bitch doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> like we were just laughing at it because we were. Oh, is that Weezy? <laughs> Sorry, I heard dog paws. No, I get I you. I, I also was very but excited. It, it, it just made me laugh that we we're like we were talking shit about it. And, like, two days later, somebody was like, Rod Ryan show dropped it. <laughs> Oh, I dropped the ca- cactus. But I, uh, I mean, I get like, it's for the it's for the fallen troops. But like, I don't think that means you can't have fun on Memorial Day. No, no, no. I'm 100 percent with that. But like, Memorial Day and every other holiday is always used for th- thirst traps. Oh, I mean, obviously. That, that's a, that's 100 percent what it was. That's all I'm trying to get. At. I phrased it very poorly. <laughs> but it was all just Memorial Day. Blah blah. blah here's this. I'm just gonna shove my tits into a red, white, and blue bikini. Well, hey, it worked. That, that it worked. Her tits were the point of the post. She just framed it in uh, Memorial no, Day. No, America was the point of the post. It really was. I was though. just looking at the American flag. It really That's all no. I was looking at. I'm sure you were. It had nothing to do with the American flag. It was covering nipples and I'm vagina. a gentleman. I'm a gentleman. Uh, all right, this is our answers segment. And uh, back in the day when I was in a fourth grade class in Lawrenceville, Georgia, at Far Elementary, I was in Miss Winter's fourth grade class. And she, one time... This actually happened. It was not in the school rock. She straight up told me or told our class, there's no such thing as a stupid question. Just stupid people. She did not say that. That's not what she said. And so I was like, oh, okay. Well, if there's no such thing as a stupid question, I might as well ask what I want to ask. And so I raised my hand. Don't remember what I asked, but everybody laughed at me and I felt like an idiot. And then I promised myself one day when you're in charge, buddy, you're going to 
implement the there's no such thing as a stupid question rule and you're not going to make fun of people for asking questions so i encourage you to ask us anything that comes to your mind maybe it's a high thought maybe it's just something you saw on the internet that you always wanted to uh, you always wanted the answer to maybe it's something you think of on your own you know hit us up at pass gray pod I'm at Alex J. Middleton. Pat is at not Pat Dion. Robert is at Robert Robo. Alex at Z. at lying bitch. At That's what he's Alex at. Alex J. Middleton. Pat is at not Pat Dion. And Robert is at Robert Robo. Use lying ass bitch. Use the hashtag PTG answers. That's how we get to them. You can also email your answers questions to answers at pass the great pod.com. Just answer the question. Why don't you just answer the question? Be honest. No big deal. Yeah, answer. Answer the question. Don't change the subject. Just answer the fucking question. Yep, yep, right. Why, 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 talk to my buddy see if he's entering again well, this year. Well, but I didn't end up going. I had some, Oh, they already passed? I was going. Yeah, they were. I mean, they're probably going to have it again, but I was going to uh, I was going to my buddy Darren's barbecue, and I uh, I was like, oh, actually, I have some previous engagements. I can't go, man. Sorry. And uh, I just like that. Uh, I think I, I sent you the text that he sent me, but it was just like, hey, dad. And uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, or it says, hey, dad, are you going to be able to make it to the race park tonight? Question mark. And I was just like, that makes me so happy that you just said dad. <laughs> So uh, I was like, I'm sorry, you son. You should have told him no, but don't stay out past curfew. I said, I'm sorry, son. <laughs> <laughs> I will not be able to make it. And uh, so I love Skyler Lester. He is our podcast son. We've raised him <laughs> through this podcast. And he is our reigning answers question asker champion yep. last year at our Gravies Awards. So you guys want to be ready for that at our Christmas spooktacular this coming – or this year, I guess. Yeah. This year. Not this coming year. This coming December. That's the way we say it. Coming. So uh, Skyler Lester says – are washers and dryers actual friends or just work friends? Dude, they're actual friends. Are they? Yes. Because think about it. They're only working while they're in use, but they're hanging out all the time. Do you hang out with your work friends when you're not at work? I feel like it's like they, they're like very lazy work friends because like they're always ready to work, but it's just like they're not always working. They're, like they're I, mean, playing, they're, like, I guess they're on call. Sometimes the dryers play in Tetris. Sometimes you know the, but the washer but is but playing solitaire. Always hanging out. I think they're work friends, though. I think they're work oh, friends, dude. just because like I feel like if the washer could have his way, he'd want to be like his own big thing, you know. And I feel like the dryer is like like the washer does the work because like a dryer you can't say that, dude. The, the, no, the washer is definitely, or the the dryer is definitely a work friend because dude, you could have you, a clothesline. If you did what about it by, a clothesline? If you did it by hand, it actually would take more time. The clothesline to air dry it than it would to hand wash them. Really? Yeah. I mean, I figured that though. It takes a while to dry. So stuff. in that way, the dryer actually does the real work. Do you dry? St- do you just like air dry stuff? No. Do you air dry Dude, stuff? Dude, I don't Robert? even separate colors. I mean, I don't do that either. That's a, because I'm not a racist. I also feel that way as well, which is why I just I, wash everything on cold. Wash everything on cold. I can't tell, so I just put everything in at the same time. Oh, that's a good point, Robert. <laughs> I remember. Well, I remember like. <laughs> <laughs> Very underrated comment by Robert. He's colorblind for those of you that maybe know. But uh, I remember, like in college, when people were talking about like washing stuff on hot. I was like, "Wait, what?" I'm like, oh, I'm just putting my, I'm putting a load of whites in, and I was like, "Okay, racist, what?" And they were like, "Oh, what do you mean? You don't like separate?" I was like, "No, if you just wash it on cold." And like, "Wait, what do you mean?" I was like, "Because it doesn't run the colors together, dumbass." And you can do four loads instead of like eight. Oh, I didn't think about that. Like a cheap bastard. <laughs> and it's like, dude, just come on, man. It's easy. But like, I, uh, I still like no, air dry. Point, like, I could wash everything on hot, and all my clothes are so old, nothing's gonna run out of them That's anyway. True. Well, I have like, I'll, I'll like air dry like those uh, those dry fit actually, shirts actually, and jerseys. I, sh- I should wash everything on hot because the only things I have that are white, like I don't have any like undershirts or anything anymore. I've got a few pairs of white socks. That's it. Yeah, all my socks are colored socks too. Yeah. I don't have anything like. There's no excuse for me to still be washing on cold. I think I feel like it washes better on hot. I have nothing to back that up, but I just assume it does. It seems like it, probably because we don't do it. Though. Yeah, and uh, there's no excuse for me to not to do it. And now I feel like an idiot. I should totally do that. Nah, dude. Well, I, I'll like air dry. Like I'll just hang up on hangers, like those like dry fit. 
shirts and shit like that, like that Umber, Under Armour material. Just Ooh, well, dry fit shirt. well, no, because sometimes like if you you want you dry it, like like it, like the elastic comes out of it a little bit. So, bro, I've got one that's ten years old now. But shit, like I run around and, and like work out it. And like, I, all I ever I use it for is mowing the yard, and it's still as elastic as ever. It's too small for me now. But it's, it's too small because like you grew out out of it, or like yeah, because I got fatter. Like it still covers everything, so I still wear it when I'm like mowing the lawn. And I shit. think you should cut in like a half shirt. Ooh, now see, belly shirts would be hot as fuck. On Let's me. bring belly shirts back, dude. I'd look good in a belly shirt. We're gonna bring the crop top back, guys. Dude, I could sicken everyone out, but as soon as anybody made a fucking comment, I could just be like, body positivity. You're a piece of shit. Call him Panini. <laughs> you fucking Panini. Yeah, don't be a panini. Hey, oh, panini. You're just, you're just hey gonna, panini. Don't gonna you gonna be hate, a meanie. You're just going to hate on my disgustingly hairy white gut that's very white because it hasn't seen the sun in six years. Don't, and my, and don't my, shame me. And my stretch marks. Like, fuck you. Would you hate on a pregnant woman's stretch marks? I didn't think so, no. so maybe don't hate on mine. I look like a hairy bear <laughs> who's pregnant. It's basically what my stomach looks and like. And he's meaning actually, the, actually, the gay no, term no, for no, bear. No. I look, no, 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 no. I'm talking about like the actual animal. No, but like I, I, I look he, like it's a both. No, 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 both. no. But for an accurate description, I look like an unhairy bear. Because there's a, still a lot of. I hair. believe, and there's, don't quote me on this, but I believe that's called an otter in the community. <laughs> it's, I'm not talking about gay. I'm talking about. But he's that, not like, not talking about if that. A, if a, if a bear had uh, what's called uh, propecia or alopecia, 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 to where they like where your hair missing, falls out. Yeah, no. So like, I still would have like 10 percent of what an actual woodland bear has on their stomach. But it's not fur; it's just hair. Mm. So that's I think that's what I look like: alopecia bear. That Who's I pregnant? want to throw up after just hearing that. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. I think they're friends. Friends. Your move, I think they're ladies. actual friends. Is that they're friends? Okay. Because uh, then I got overruled all the time. Because I was gonna say a, like a clothesline could I be a dryer. I forgot we were even doing answers. I was segment. gonna say a clothesline could be a dryer, and I feel like. You know, like the dryer isn't not uh, isn't always necessary. No, but they are definitely friends because they hang out all the time. If you have a stacked washer dryer, they're definitely friends. If they're you dumb. have side by sides, I don't know. No, side by sides are still friends because they're always know. hanging out. Okay, so I guess I'm overruled according to you two. Yep. You guys think that Holy washers shit, and dryers are This is are the actual first friends. time Robert backed me up in an argument in forever. Not the first time. I went for a high five and he wasn't standing yeah, there anymore. He he walked away when you did that. Oh god, I forgot. And <laughs> now he just tickled your hand. I forgot he does that every time. Damn it! I love it. Every time Pat goes for any like high five, handshake, he, or, he, like, he gives me fist the fist bump. bump, or if I go for a fist bump, he just grabs. He just my grabs hand. it. It's the best. It's the best thing. By in the, the way, world. Robert has very soft hands. He does. Um, <laughs> our next question comes from Brandon Whitehead at Brando Whitehead on Twitter, and he says, "If a Toyota Prius drifts around a corner, is that considered an electric? Slide? Only if it drifts right back." And then back again. And then back again. Well, what is that drift? Electric man. I don't know. Have you seen Orange County? Hey, hold on, hold on. Was Keanu Reeves in the Prius? Because then I will allow it as an uh, electric Ooh, slide. Okay. Like they did in the re- replacements. Was Well, like, have you seen Orange County? The movie? Yeah. With Jack Black? Yeah, where they threw the thing. And they, Colin Hanks? They threw the thing in the trash can and, and it lit on fire. Out of it. And he was like, oh, it was an electrical fire. He's like, well, I thought they said it was an electrical fire. And Jack Black's like... Yeah, it was electrical, man. <laughs> I only saw a very small part of the movie. I and this seen podcast that. is called "We're Just Going to Reference Jack Black Movies." <laughs> Jack Attack. So it was actually when I was robbing, when I was breaking into uh, <laughs> to a school in Orange County, I uh, I threw a piece of paper into a trash can, lit it on fire, and then Colin Hanks came out. I was like, "Dude, what the fuck?" <laughs> you believe that one yet? No. No, not quite. No, fuck you. You got me once. You're not gonna get me. Uh, again. Yeah, I think uh, I think if a Toyota Prius is drifting around a corner, that's definitely an electric. Well, it car. has to have a. Uh, well, because a, a Prius is an electric car. No, but it has to have a cast member of the replacements in it, and then it counts. But I think if an electric car is sliding, that's an electric slide. No, if they have Keanu Reeves or I mean, that's just or, an extra or, or, electric or, slide or Pam's ex uh, fiance Roy Roy, or if they have Orlando, what's his name? Bloom. No, not Orlando Bloom. The black guy named Orlando. Who's in the replacements? He was the fast guy that couldn't catch. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you have one of them in the car, then yes, it counts as an electric slide, but it does not count otherwise. I disagree, and I would say it does count otherwise. Robert, tiebreaker. You could just have if it's an electric car sliding, yes or no? it's an electric slide. If it's an electric car sliding, I think it's an electric slide. Okay, I win. Haha. Touche. 
All right, uh, Danielle Weston at Danny underscore Weston. She wrote in with our not cool. She's got a answers question for us as well. She says, would you ever consider getting your head cryogenically frozen? Fuck yes. If it's good enough for fucking uh, uh, Walt goddamn Disney? Teddy ball game. Walt Disney. Then it's good. No, fuck, fuck him. I think Walt Disney did it. Fuck it. I would take Walt Disney. Ted, Ted Williams. Williams. Oh, you take Walt Disney, a guy who was a blatant anti-Semite, over the greatest baseball player or greatest hitter well, I didn't know that. of all time, who also served during two wars in the prime of his career. Yeah, Walt and Disney And was still the only Disney player to World. ever hit over 400 during a season. Walt Disney created Disney World. Yeah, and he also hated Jews. Well, I didn't know that, so it doesn't count. Uh, you know it now, so and it does I didn't count. Know it, so it doesn't count. Yeah. Um, no, also, I w- I've always said that I would like to be, you know, like like buried like as a Viking funeral. So I just want to be sent out in a ship and live. No, I I would love to have my head frozen just because what if Futurama's true? It'll be in water. What if a hundred times? Ew. Yeah, but like, dude, they give you fish food, you nibble at it, and you're still alive. And you could just talk shit to people as a head. That'd be dope. I don't think I would, Robert. What about you? You won't even consider it. No, I wanted to see like I want to have a Viking funeral. I want like no, you like set I, me out to sea in a boat and just somebody shoot a fire arrow and just hit the boat and I'll just burn. That'd be dope. As I, 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 as I, mean, I, as I sail off, it's the same thing as cremating. But I'm like in a dope it, ass if, way. It, it, oh well, if that's cheaper than cremating, it's I'm, a way I'm, doper cremating. I am down for the cheapest way to get rid of my body. You steal a boat, you put me in it, and you shoot that's a what fucking I want. What fire about you, arrow. Robert? Uh, no, I don't. I don't believe in the cult. Whoa, what you're cult? part of a cult. Cold. Cold. Oh, you don't believe cold. in the cold? Yeah. You know Rush is a thing, right? No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, have you ever heard of the sun? Because it's cold. Mm. Yeah. Hey, just so you guys know, in, in case somehow... Why is it, space cold through, if the sun's not cold? Through some legal loophole that you guys get put in charge of my dead body, my wishes are cheapest possible death. If burying is cheaper, go for it. If cremation is cheaper, go for it. If you find a cheaper option than all that. Can we just dump the body? Burying me up in Washington as fucking compost, if that's cheaper for you. That's a thing now. That. That's yeah, a thing now. That's what I'm saying. I want the cheapest possible funeral because I want more of that money to go towards the wake. I want everyone fuck hammered. I want a Viking funeral and I want everybody to put it on like the most like Dude, no one's populous. I didn't, I didn't think so, but like the one person that does is going to be the archer. That's what I'm gonna hire beforehand. Duh. No, I will be that guy. No, I don't trust you to shoot it. You'd miss. No, I mean, that's why I'm gonna light like six things on fire at once and fire them all. You'd be. You still probably miss. Yeah, but I'm gonna keep going. But I want it to be like a heavily populated lake. It's not that big where people are like, oh my god, what is happening? Like and one you of just the, have one of the lakes out in Cinco. <laughs> you just have to like watch like a boat burn. <laughs> There's a body in that. Please don't I, disturb I, I it. I keep missing so many times. You hit the shore and I have to push you back out into the middle. <laughs> <laughs> it's really just like a pool. <laughs> Dude, we're just going to show up to a random it's pool party. Pool. It's going to be a random pool party of a bunch of 17-year-olds. I'm going to set your dead body on fire. <laughs> that would be so funny. <laughs> so, I guess that's two no's and one yes from us, Daniel. Yeah, uh, they're proof. On getting our heads guess, so. cryogenically frozen. Yeah. Uh, Josh Cottle at Joshua Tree, 713, our boy Josh Tree. He's coming out to Senior Skip Day next Friday. So yeah. come on out to that. We'll promote that a little bit more next week. But Josh Tree says... What happens if Batman gets bitten by a vampire? Well, there's only one of two possible scenarios. Well, vampires turn into bats, right? Uh, uh, sometimes, depending on... Well, there's in this case, there's one of two possible scenarios. Batman, uh, one, becomes unstoppable. Yeah. You can't, you can't fuck with that. Two, uh, he's Batman. He has a file on how to defeat every other superhuman on the planet. Batman would just figure out how to reverse it, and he would just reverse himself back. Which I think is the more than likely one. Hmm. I just think, like, like I don't get it. I just think if Batman gets bit by a vampire, he's probably going to become a vampire. Because Batman, I mean, Batman that, is and, just and, a guy. And, and he's just a guy like us. And that's he's where he becomes guy. unstoppable because he's Batman, but he also gains all the super strength and everything that a vampire possesses, which Batman's already the best uh, superhuman yeah, or superhero yeah. well, without any of those powers. Now, what if it's a radioactive bat? Or well, that, radioactive that's vampire? That's a different question. But I think Batman would use his uh, science abilities and just stop and just reverse it. I think Batman would be a real dick and be like a vampire that would start going and other people. That's what no, I think. I, no, no, he would be... He'd be Vamp Man. No, he'd be more like Blade. He would... Uh, actually, that's probably the most likely one. He would keep his vampire That's what Blade abilities. was. That's, that's what it, Blade actually, was just no, the black Batman that got no, bit by a vampire. He would still have to solve it and cure himself 
because he would still need to go out and day as Bruce, uh, or not Bruce Banner, what the Bruce fuck? Wayne, Bruce Wayne. You should know. He just he has to keep up appearances. Robert, what say you? I I, I need my sunblock that they used to do I in need Blade. My other superhero buddy to go with me on this. I think he'd find a way to cure himself. That's what I'm saying. I, th- I feel like he'd cure himself. Like, no, it is well, very... Well, fuck. I just want to assume if he's a regular guy, he wouldn't. No, it is very likely that he would just use the he's powers got a technology. for good, find a Blade-style thing to where he doesn't need to suck blood and only go out at night and just become a well, uh, recluse. If, but I think he would cure himself. If you yeah. guys listened yeah. to Pass the Gravy in prior years, you would know that there's such things as energy vampires, and maybe he got bit by an energy vampire. And no, there's not. It. There are, and they nope. just suck out energy from other people. And Vodalock the Vampire explained to myself and, and nope. the godfather of the podcast, Curtis, that have you ever been in a room where sometimes people You're leave? You're trying to tell me that dude doesn't eat Torchy's tacos? Explain. You, you said he's an energy vampire. He feeds on energy. He doesn't need to eat then. Well, he said— Bullshit, that motherfucker eats some tacos. I mean, but he's he was he was in Michigan, so I don't think they have Torchy tacos, so I don't know. But we, we we had some Texas vampires, but we were really kind of nervous to like actually like be in person with a vampire, if it were true. be in the same state. I was just like, if it's true, I don't want to be in the same room with you. So like, no thanks. We'll do it via Skype. And we found a guy from out of town. We'll come back up. I'll do it with you. You know, you. I'll protect I'll you. Vote. But now he'll hear us talking about him. Because that was the whole thing we had going for us. We're gonna have to get a new guy. It's gonna hear this probably still. Can we do a follow up uh, thing with Votamir? Votalock. Can we get a follow up interview? He follows us on Twitter, I think. So I could probably hit Does him he? Up. Yeah. What's up, Votalock? Votalock. We're just kidding. I mean, I wasn't. I still think you're full of shit. No, no, no. Like, don't, that's not how you get guests. You I don't mean, talk shit about him. I'm real. Prove I, Pat wrong. I'm not going to lie to his face. If you want to prove me wrong, come on. So Kurt and I both watched the MTV, like, True Life, I'm a Vampire. And I was like, this isn't a real thing. And they were in Austin. And it wasn't. They were in Austin. But, yeah. like, Curtis was like, I'm not going to fucking have him over at my house. <laughs> Good and I was call. like, what? No, have him over. It'd be so much fun. He's like, no, fuck you. I want this guy to know. No, I would not want those type of people to know where I live. <laughs> they start just, like, lurking out with their capes <laughs> at night. But we had the guy on. He talked about, like, being an energy vampire. And, like, it's one of my favorite Curtis moments ever where he's like, I'm sure you've been in a room and you felt people leave. And then all the energy just was kind of sucked <laughs> out. And Curtis was like, long pause. Okay. <laughs> Go on. And it was just like, uh But no, oh wait, it was the guy saying like it was on you, Skype as people, we're having you've seen people leave and the energy is sucked out and he goes, No, that's an energy vi- vampire. It's not the fact that ninety percent of the thing just No, left. the guy was explaining that, but yes, also that too. But they're like, uh go listen to go look back at uh the, the vampire Vodalock like the vampire that, yeah. on uh, we we did it and we we played it too on like a half episode where we didn't have a full episode and I think it was like sixty eight and a half we played it as well, <laughs> but uh, like it it was a really it was like we were brand new to podcasting and that was like <laughs> one of the, like uh, my proudest interviews I was like I got a guy that thought he was a vampire this was just out of the you guys playing GTA days pretty much but like Curtis and I are texting each other the whole time he's like oh my god can you believe this shit. And, like, we're on Skype interviewing the guy, and he's like, this is bullshit. And it's just like, stop talking shit about the guy we're talking to. Just buy into it. Just buy into it. This is more fun. So we can't vote a lot on but we're going to have to find so somebody else to be So basically, you guys intentionally did what my dumbass accidentally did with your stupid-ass uh, you-used-to-be-a-substitute-teacher thing. Ooh, we can play that game, too, with him. Well, that'll, be, that'll be a fun game. So, uh, yeah, we'll try to have a vampire on. But, yeah, I guess you guys think that Batman figures out he, how to heal himself. himself. He'd figure it out. All right. Our final question of the week comes from our boy Todd Voss at as underscore scene underscore by underscore TV, also known as at. Or he's not at. Why is the carpet wet, Todd? But that could be another one. Why is the carpet wet, Todd? Huh? Why is the carpet wet, Todd? Uh, I but, said, I'm at that Andy Dwyer stage where I'm like, I don't know what this is, but I'm too afraid right, to ask. Just, just go with it. <laughs> But Todd Voss says, hashtag gravy gang. My parents are coming to town. What do I do? And I, I you actually asked some follow up questions. Yeah. So I'm going to go off of you because I was like, I don't know if he likes his parents. Yeah. I asked not. him, I go, well, it depends. Do you like your parents or not? And he goes, no, I actually do really like my parents and their great grandparents. And I was like, cool. Because if he had said no, I would have said, tell them to fuck themselves. If you don't like them <laughs> and they're coming to town, you don't have to see them. 
You've got your own family. It's whatever. As long as you're not financially dependent on them, then you probably still have to see them. No, but you do love them. What I said is, you know, uh, have, have a, a great time. Dude, have a backyard. Bar- have a great time. Exactly. You have, you know, backyard barbecue. Go to a miniature putt-putt place. You know, anything. Ooh, get them all around, like, have a campfire. Get them all around that. Play pass the gravy for them. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, I don't know if the kids can listen. Tell the kids that it's earmuffs. Just it's for, it's a for just, every just curse word is a foreign earmuffs, language. Re, just have earmuffs ready at all times. No, but tell them that like every uh, curse word we say is a French word, and be like, and the French are very dirty, so please just don't listen. To yeah, and, and, and these are all uh, ideas that all of you can do with your families for the mm-hmm. summer. Like I said, backyard barbecue, pot pot, anything that keeps the family together, splash town. Or if Splashdown's a little far away from you, Typhoon, Texas, out in Katy. Here's another great idea. Southern Star Brewing Company. Yeah, no, they Take actually are Take them on down friendly. to Southern Star Brewing family Company. Friendly. A very family-friendly one. Maybe let them be like, hey, pass Dude, they, your podcast. They, they got Bago and shit out there for kids. Dude, It's a. they've got a little playground. It's a great just time. Just saying. Southern Any, Star like, knows what's dude, up. Look, I mean, I, I would Take him to Napa there, Auto Parts. But, uh, but I think he said his family's from Iowa. I, I he's a he's a Idaho. he's a cyclone. He's a cyclone. So Iowa State ish. Something like Ames, that. Ames, Ames, Iowa. But yeah, dude, just just bring him bring him to some real Texas shit. Like uh, like I said, uh, especially Southern Star. You know, um, bring him to NASA. Actually, Dave, I didn't Dave, say that NASA's before. a good one. Get NASA, the kids with NASA's you. NASA's a great one. I don't know how many times great, your kids have been in NASA. They that's probably a have a bunch. Great day but. for the family. It really is. I remember my family used to have season passes in NASA back in the day. And any time we got to go to NASA was a phenomenal day you as a kid. The space food and all and that stuff. Yeah. I can't even imagine like NASA would be so much doper as an adult. I feel like than even what it was as a kid because like that shit that's interesting as an adult. Yeah, that's, that's not cool that's not some shit. panini shit right there. And that's then, that's and some then, good shit. And then that even you then on the gift shop on the way out, dude, Legos has some dope ass NASA shit that dude, they used Legos to have. Legos knows what's up. Dude, like that's stuff that like I wouldn't even buy for my kids, like if I had them, but I'd buy it for myself and be like, oh yeah, no, no I'm gonna Just get stay you away, this. Daddy's and building then, like, this. And like behind their back, I'd have like a fucking NASA Lego set. Right, like, right. Dude, I'm gonna do this while you're asleep. Fuck you. This you have this freeze dried food that you think is space food. And also, when you're at NASA, you get Dippin' Dots. Which is pretty great. Dude, which is just a whole other level of dope. Pretty great. It's the ice cream uh, And the then, of course, if you want to also road trip, dude, go hit yourself some Schlitterbahn. Down your brothels, and they got Dippin' Dots See there, the too. Alamo, if you want to do that. Take yeah. them out of Galveston if I don't, you want to just I'm, chill. I assume you're not doing much road tripping, but, like, yeah, dude, there's so it's much. A so- cool. Galveston's dude, a solid day actually, trip. Actually, we haven't even brought this up either yet. The museum district down in Houston. The uh, Houston Museum of Natural Science is fucking amazing. The uh, the I don't know what it is, but the butterfly museum, whatever the fuck, yeah, that is. whatever that is. Dude, the museums are so dope. Like, there's so much time, really though. cool shit to do in Houston that like you can't do anywhere else. The Houston Zoo, we're not going to kill any fucking gorillas there. That's a fact. I mean, I kind of wish we would. Don't but, like, no, you don't. Thing. Don't you say that, Mike Actually, the no, gorilla there? Mike the gorilla there is a no, fucking I, I, great I, guy. I immediately said I didn't because I know uh, uh, he's a fantastic a Houston fella. gorilla. If the kid fell in, he'd throw him back. Immediately he would. Did you know Harambe is from Texas, right? Yeah, but he was a dick. Harambe's from Texas. Yeah. He was a well, little yeah, upset dude, probably right. that he was out so, of his so Lone Star going. State. Go, uh, go hit a water park. Go to NASA. Go hit the museums. Uh, listen to uh, Pass the do, Gravy on do, repeat. Um, like I said, uh, go go a little putt-putt. That's listen easy. To you the can vampire find putt-putt everywhere around the there. Gravy. Go just do a little grilling in your backyard. There's so much to do in Houston that's great for the family. And it'll keep you all together. It, like it's just awesome, especially. I really would say museums. That would be a great one for your parents to come in and see, and NASA too. And it just like give, give them a, the past give, the gravy give, museum and tell them all about how we came to. That's be. why, like, like putt putt and backyard barbecue. That's good, but like, give them shit that they can only get here in Houston. Museums, like Southern Star museums, NASA. Maybe take them to a Stroh's game. Have them listen to some PTG. Yeah, you know? PTG on repeat. And like they'll get used to it. Like, After Todd, a while, we grow Todd, on you. Todd, I think we we we've given you some good answers. Show them why the carpets wet. What's up? Show them why the carpets wet. Carpets wet. They, people want to know. People want to know. But uh, Todd. that's a solid. That's a solid. Todd. And that's Todd. actually Todd. 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 Just get the cat, Todd. Get the cat, Todd. All right. Uh, so that like just yeah, that's some solid answers for you, Todd. I appreciate that. If you guys want to send us some answers, questions. I mean, hashtag, if you want to invite me, go ahead. You want to bring me? If you want to hang out with us, hit us up. Hashtag. PTG know, answers know. at Pass the Grade Pod. You can also email them to us Love at, you. or you can only you can also email them to us answers at Pass the Pod dot com. I think that's it for us today, guys. Yeah. Huh? Go Watch check easy. out go check out Robert Barbosa's Twitter or Robert Barbosa's YouTube account. Go check out the yeah. Disturbed Town Hall meeting because Robert did a kick ass job putting Dude, all that together. A- and then uh, I think about Saturday, check out the 
video version of this podcast, Past mm-hmm. Grade Podcast, on YouTube. And uh, we can be posted on Facebook this week, I guess. Yeah. And check it out on our Facebook page as well. And uh, you can check it out on all our, on all of our like our video versions are available on our Facebook as well. So go just go check it out. And uh, you guys have a great week. Give us that five star review on iTunes, Spotify, iHeartRadio, anywhere you're listening to us. Share us with a friend. That's the best way we grow podcast listeners. And we love you guys for listening to us every week. Thank you so much for being part of the Pass the Gravy Gang. And until we talk to you guys next week, pass the goddamn gravy, I'm bitches. <laughs>